Episode 60. Yes. What's up, bro? Chilling, dude. Coming back after Christmas break, which is one day, if anything. Never take breaks. No. I never take breaks. Hell dude. no. What's up? Nothing, dude. What you I, doing? I'm sorry. I was looking at these. Uh, we got to shout out some people. Yo, please. JC Super Artist, dude. Yo, those pictures were nice, man. JC Super Artist. Uh, also, B. Durkin, dude. Check out his. Oh, yeah. Last episode of Full Belly Laughs, he had uh, he had the boys on there. Yeah, it was nice. That was basically a secret podcast. Fuck me. That was sick. Gubs, dude. The Shout Gubs, out to Gubs. Dude. Shout out to Gubs. He's dude, sticking up well, for you. it sucks. You. I called him an old retard on the last episode. You did? And then the next, you did. The next fucking... I was looking at the main board. Is he an old retard? Like, uh, I think he's just old. Yeah, he might okay. be. You did he's call, a great guy. Did you call him an old retard? I think. I so think he's he the too. only guy defending me. People would be like, yo, you fucking suck. And this old guy would be like, he's the best. How did Gubs like that? I don't think Gubs heard that yet. Because he was... Oh, they're going to they're tell him now. He was still messaging me. Or not messaging me, but he was still posting like, I don't care what anyone else says. Have the dude. messages stopped? I got your back. Imagine if you're defending someone and then one of their detractors was like, you know he called you a retard, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, Gubs is the man. Gubs he seems like the man. He's so funny. He just types gibberish. That's awesome. He'll start a post, or like a thread that's just pure gibberish. That's fucking sick. And he talks shit on people. I can, <laughs> sometimes he's talking shit on me, and I, I don't know. Really? The way he types is so cryptic. Does he... Uh... So you never know. So it's he's not like he's, he's not like he's scrolling. Remember that in chat rooms when you like type as much as you could so no one could talk in a chat room? Oh, no, because so it's it wasn't not like that. that. Okay. It's not like that. It's so. posts, and then somebody will write like 20 minutes later, somebody will respond. Okay. That'd be sick if you were in chat rooms. You got to watch out for those I should things. get in chat rooms. Dude, I want to get back into them. Would you ever jerk off in a chat room? Uh, definitely. I, I mean, I, I definitely <laughs> cybered at one point and jerked off, no doubt. You know, I don't think I ever cybered and got a nut. Ever. I definitely did. I, might, I think I might even... I, I think I jerked off to like a, the beginning of a cyber and just stopped. And I was just like... I'm t- I just looked at the words. I'm touching myself. And I was like... I've done that via yeah. s- the sext. You jerked fin- off to a sext? Like finish while you're sexting? And then you're just like... Yeah, I've done that. I All think right, too. See, uh, I, yeah, I had you this. Just gotta stop like mid sex. I was like, changing sex with this older lady ya. a long time ago, dude. Nice to jerk off to her sex. I used yeah, to read them. Nice. Yeah, they were awesome. And then once she worked finished, for the state of New Jersey. She's still trying to go, <laughs> and it's like, all right. Oh, she was trying gross. to keep sex, and yeah, I've, that's I've had that experience where you pre jack in a sex. Oh man, I didn't. I've. <laughs> I think I just read the sex post like I got oh, them an I hour see. later and just jerked off. No, I was it. live, live doing it. You guys were live. live scrolling. I was live fucking cranking it. That's what I think Facetime's good for. Sure. Whew, I've catch, done that. I've done that. I've catch done, a Facetime I've joint. Skype to fucking jerk off, oh, bro. Just get a nice. She got to look at my face. I was like, just, mm. my face I turned a, red, and I was just like, oh, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not going to get into what I do on that, but Let I do. Hear it. What do you do? I do a close up of the shot, dude. Of course you. I do. get all fucking 360 on it. Dude. <laughs> of course you fucking <laughs> zoom in on your cum, dude. You got a weird. No, I'm saying of... like while while shooting, I get a good shot sure. of it. I believe you. Yeah, I, dude, I actually relapse. What do you mean? I fucking fapped, bro. What you fapped? I fapped, yeah. I thought we were on a no fap. I was trying, dude. I fell. How'd that? I was what climbing. Happened? I was climbing high, dude. I fucking. What happened was I, I couldn't sleep. I had too much fucking tea in me, so I couldn't fall asleep. I had too much fucking cum. So sure. I, I was like, well... Your cum was keeping you awake? Yeah, if you don't fucking cum in seven days, dude, I can't sleep. I sleep maybe four hours. Really? I get jacked up. Did you ever take steroids for like poison ivy? Like no. low-grade steroids? Nope. Not like D-ball or anything? Nope. It's that feeling. This is all natural. I've taken roids. They don't get you jacked, but you do gain weight and you can't sleep on them. You're just kind of all day like, <laughs> that's how I feel if I hold Sounds it. Sounds like what I have. Hold it in for just seven days. fat, depressed. It's not, you're not depressed though. Fucking insomniac. It's your tea, dude. You got, you do have high tea. Me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Hold it in. How much, like, what's the longest you've ever held it in for? 21 days. How'd you feel? It's nothing to me. Really? I'm a master of my body, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking not, dude. I'm not a slave to come. I'm a creature that thinks with my spinal cord, dude. I'm just like a full, just like a monkey walking around, dude. Yeah. I literally, if after <sighs> like seven days, yeah, I, I like I can't sleep. My whole torso hurts. It's like sore. I have blue balls, dude. I was, <laughs> I was so basically, I took it to the showers. I'm like, I'll just go pure imagination style. That's so. That's like the most, dude. That's even worse. Mind, that's that's even worse than fap. porn. 
that's yeah, like that's the, the, nicest, the purest way to fat. Most, most and then you, way. Exactly. But then you go, as always, dude, it's like the... Uh, it's like that Greek myth of the Minotaur's maze. All roads lead to the fucking adopted cousin. You get out and you're like, God damn it. That wasn't wholesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What happened? You just go to the adopted cuz, dude. What that's, does that mean? That's just the hottest masturbatory fantasy. So you were in the... I'm not going to get in specifics. Shower jerking off to a cousin of yours. No, dude. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about adopted cousin. I'm saying that's where... I was thinking of someone to, else's adopted cousin. Take us through cousin. the process here because it sounds, it sounds a little... Like, that was my... When I was younger, that was my like... That was my eject button. When I was in the shower, my knees were getting sore from squeeze. You know, you got to squeeze your legs real hard. My knees would be buckling on me. I would just go right to my AC and be like, oh, boy. And then you get out and you're like, gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so I, I caught a beat and I was not pleased with it. And then obviously that turned. Wait, into- so AC is your adopted cousin and that's like your guaranteed nut. Yeah, dude. I what, mean, you, what happens in this scenario with your adopted cousin? I'm not going to get into it. Let me hear it. Just, a, just a handy, bro. I can't go. Your, your adopted cousin gives you a hand job in my in my fan in, in my your darkest fantasy. deepest Where fantasies. Where are you? Like what? Is shower, this... dude. I, I go real life. I'm oh. in total. I'm in like caveman virtual reality. Now, I have like the shower one of those hand on. jobs. That's like, hey, I'll help you out. Here you go. Or yeah, is it like she's Indian. It's a secret. No, it's definitely a secret. It's she's like, secretly hurry like, up. Like, we have to hurry here, this. Here you go. Yeah, exactly. It's Damn. a hurried secret hand job. How long has that been going on for you? Never. I haven't used my imagination forever. So no, like, but I mean, like, was that one you that you that was like a, lifetime since the first? Pretty time much. You, that no, that was like a cryogenic, frozen sexual fantasy from yeah. like seventh grade. That like I was like, I'll just use my imagination. I'll think about like underwear or something. It was just like, why was my adopted <laughs> cousin coming out? Of it? Think about underwear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So dude, that instantly turned into a nightly habit, which led to a pick, which led to some vids, dude. And I was right back on the porch. Now dude. you're back into the. Pool. I'm off. I'm off. I'm back off. I don't. So I, go, wait, I went and recouped. So in you Chicago. jerked off to your cousin in the shower. No, adopted, and then, adopted. And now, and then, how long <laughs> until the next jerk off happened? Instantly, the next night, dude. I, the I'm, next night, it's I'm, it's like I'm with a fucking. The it's a spike, night, dude. It's it a needle. Is, uh, I'm chasing, right back on. You're chasing the adopted cousin dragon. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then the next night, you went with what picks? Some picks. Some picks. Wholesome picks, dude. Just some just camel nice. toe, just some camel toe and underwear, dude. That's all. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. So that's pretty wholesome stuff. That's that's legal. And then what happens the next night? That's when things. Next probably... night you jerk off to some hooker ads. Hooker ads. Yeah, you look up the ads, dude. <laughs> jerk off the hooker ads. And then the next night, porn videos, wow. dude. Hooker ads are like a because that's that's a that's a loaded gun, dude. Cause you're, you're looking nice. at them, you're like, "That's a real person. That's their services." Wow, I never even thought of that. Jerking off the hooker ads is sick because they have like little intro videos sure. too. All right, so that was your that was your Christmas. No, 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 no. That was that was leading up to Christmas, dude. We were yeah. talking about jerking last week. I think I had relapse last week, so I apologize to listeners. I wasn't totally. I mean, I was honest. No I didn't, one cares if you're not jerking. Well, but still, I didn't. No, I wasn't this asked. No fat I wasn't asked if I, <laughs> I wasn't asked brothers. directly, but I didn't come forward. So sorry, my brothers out there. You bro- but, do you think anyone else on the that listens? Definitely, to the I've gotten message by people listeners before saying that they are on NoFab. Get the fuck out of here. One guy, but yeah. One guy messaged you and was Swear like, I'm also holding in my cum with yes, you. Yes, absolutely. Not with me, but with the you legions. You doing it. With, you know, with the millions no, across the you. world who are starting he the revolution. you and he's like, Matt, I'll hold in my cum if you hold in your No, cum. he's saying, I'm on NoFab too, dude. Keep it up. Good job. I've been noticed. He said, actually, there's been a noticeable difference. So What's the noticeable difference? You're just more present. You're awake. You're just kind of more, you're, t- you're more of a take charge kind of guy. From not jerking off? From not coming and watching porn, yeah. From not, we've had this conversation too many times. No, we haven't. It's a, dude, this is an age old debate. Yeah, well, it's just because if I would agree with you, if I jerked off the way you jerk off, hey, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, exactly. Like, it's not for it everyone. Would be, I understand that then it could probably mm-hmm. like if I if I spent like an hour down here beating off. Well, it's not even like just that. Hours. It's not just that. It's the fact that you're. It's like you're expending like you're when you your semen. In your body is a source of like energy and vitality, and when you're just spilling it all the time willy nilly, you're not you know living up to your full potential. Is that true? Definitely, dude. If Seeming I if I hold gives it, you vitality. While it's in your body. Yes, def, dude. Absolutely. There's a ton of vitamins and minerals in semen that when you're just shooting it out every day, you're losing out on a ton of stuff. So your body absorbs. Mm-hmm. Your body reabsorbs semen. Really? After seven days of not coming, your testosterone I think goes up, doubles or quadruples or something like that. What? Yeah. Dude, you're not supposed to be coming all the time. Yeah, you are. No, you're not. Yeah. I do. The Mexican dishwasher told me too. You only get so many. 
And after that, your dick doesn't work. That's true, though. I mean, we've, <laughs> we've talked about this, too. I mean, technically, that guy's definitely right. Yeah. You do have a certain number of nuts. You have so many. But, dude, so, like, and that's as soon as I, when I was fapping, I stopped going to the gym for a week. I went out to Chicago for Christmas, had a nice, wholesome Christmas out there. I was in, I was in, it was funny, hold too. On, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. The only was, way that that Mexican guy's right, the, the Mexican guy who says you have a certain number of jerk offs, yeah. is correct. Yeah. But it's not set. I, mean, I know, I, mean, it I know, is, no, it, it probably, you're right. Like we're, our bodies are like super soakers where you have a certain amount of cum. No. That's just like an hourglass dropping. But I think it's more of like the structure of your dick. You can only let that thing rise and fall so many times. Sure. And I, if there's stuff to know about dicks, dude, I trust Mexican dudes. You trust Mexican That's guys. That's what the Incans and Mayans are all about. They like, they, everyone thinks they're all advanced. They just knew everything about dicks. <laughs> <laughs> They knew everything about dicks and fapping, and they went off into the woods. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I'm back on, dude. I didn't know. I, I, it's the one thing that'll keep me from fapping is being in an old person's house. I just don't feel sexy in an old person's house. You don't dude. feel. You need to feel sexy to jerk I need off. To feel sexy, dude. <laughs> I don't feel sexy in an old person's house, so I just was like, yeah, all right. I gotta, so you, when you jerk off, you need to feel sexy. Yeah, dude, I need to feel sexy. I, I just man, I feel, I feel like good. a woman. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Oh, oh. And then you like you think about your adopted cousin. That's 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 when the fucking day seven kicks in, dude. That's the that's the part I haven't been able to get past. Oh man, day seven on hard mode. Well, I'm about to unleash. I think a good six day streak on the bay tonight. I don't, I don't even know what streak I'm at right now. Really, I'm at uh, right now. Mm-hmm. No fab. I'm at uh, what day is it? Tuesday. Yeah. Three days. Really? Just you don't feel any different? Three days. Three days is the start. It used to be like if 24 hours and I would feel like the charge feeling. Mm-hmm. Now it's like four or five days. If Like after, I think seven was the longest I went. It feels like my dick's floating in front of my body. Yeah. I'm walking and it feels like my, literally my dick's floating. If really? I go on seven days, it feels like. I could get to seven easy. I can get to 10 by the next time we podcast. Crazy, dude. I'll have not fat. You're going to no fat for 10 days? I can no fat for that. Dude, that'll be awesome. I mean, I'm definitely going to just jerk off tonight. Now that I remember that it's been three days. Fuck <laughs> <it. laughs> no, dude. Fuck yeah. I'll seven more off. days. Go seven more days. Uh, See what happens. When's now? I got to. Why? Save I mean, it up. I could, sure. Yeah, save it up, dude. I just went three. No problem. Okay. Didn't well, even t- think about it. Tack fucking. But I'll tell you what, Saturday was a big day. What do you mean? Or was it Friday? I was just a hotel room in Connecticut by myself. That was a big fat just day. Just like fuck it, I got two off. That's pretty good. Two is a lot. Two, two is for like, a hotel though. That's like hotel room two is. I'm part fucking. Of the course, <laughs> dude. That's I'm in a hotel. Did. I'm like kicking my legs and jerking off, dude. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like the Wicked Witch, dude. In the hotel. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I got I got one off early. It was too early. That was the problem. The first one I yeah, got off was true. like early. You had a little bit and of I jerk. You had jerker's day. remorse, dude. I had the rest of the day, dude. <laughs> you had a little bit of jerker's remorse so at one, seven p.m. You're like, damn, it, I already jerked off. Got one more off before the show. Yeah, you probably were a fucking cool cat on stage. Dude. Probably a too cool. I was fucking <laughs> falling asleep up there. <laughs> See, yeah, those Connecticut people did not like me. Really? Uh, I, I did all right, but you I kept too calling much. them all white trash, and they all kept getting upset. They got actually offended. Did we even say that on this podcast? That you're at everyone in Connecticut? No, <laughs> you didn't explain that. fucking white trash. Which is hilarious. Yeah. So you were I, up in Connecticut all weekend. I went I went up to Connecticut with the legend, Rich, Rich Voss. Voss. You shook hands with the legend, the and you legend, went right dude. to your room and jerked off twice. I, mas- I masturbated twice. He probably jerked off three times. That's why he's a headliner. <laughs> he is a legend. This is how much of a legend he is. He's he, probably, he gets a better hotel. <laughs> Does he really? He didn't even stay in my hotel. Damn. He's a good enough headliner that he can be like, I'll go to your club, but I'm not staying at that shitty hotel. You got to get me a better hotel. That's a, that's a hilarious power move to do. It is. And he always does it. Big, I'll do your shit hood. I'll do your shit club, but I got to yeah. stay at like the fucking deluxe. That's awesome. And he stays at a nice hotel and then he orders, he usually orders dinner and then one more meal and takes it home. And they got to pay for it all. Yeah. He's a fucking, he's a, he's a powerful man, dude. He is, dude. He is the man. That is so fucking so funny. funny to so you guys were with a bunch of white trash. So in yeah, Connecticut. I, I drove up to Connecticut and I was I was shocked just how shitty it was. I, dude, I, I'm telling you, man, it was I, central Pennsylvania. Like it was like central to western Pennsylvania. You think they recently like. just got all trumped out with the presidency? They got trumped out hard. It, it probably was a bunch of Volvo drivers and Trump won. Yeah. They're like, yup. Yep. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that'd be yeah. Hilarious. If they actually, they crashed their Volvos in the ravine yeah. and went full on Trump status. That'd be sick. That'd be awesome. If they bought in. Yeah, they just went all in on it. 
That'd be, that'd be, they just uh, sent scouts to Central PA, and they're like, "This is how we're going to get. All right, this is how we're going to live." Yeah, it was something a little weird about being near Sandy Hook. Yeah, like I was near Sandy Hook when I pulled over to get something. I didn't to know eat. that was Connecticut. Yeah, that seems like a new town. It almost seems like the like you know how the Earth has its core. Mm-hmm. It seems like the core, like the, the epicenter of like angry nerds in Connecticut. It seems what? like a good breeding ground for like really hot angry ner- like pissed off angry nerds. What do you mean? I don't know. Connecticut's just jammed between a bunch of different cities. I feel like you get a good nerd in there, he can explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like a school shooter? Well, more or less, yeah. All right. <laughs> so I pulled over to... It was just weird to be like near Sandy Hook and then see a guy drive by in like a huge pickup with like a, a Blue Lives Matter and an American flag how on the s- back, like how huge soon, flags. How soon after seeing ha- Sandy Hook did you jerk off? <laughs> That night, <laughs> you're disgusting. You jerked off five hours. You jerked off five hours after seeing Sandy, Sandy Hook. Hook. Yeah. Oh my god, I I, you didn't take a night off out of respect. I should have. I may have. No, <laughs> sure, at least no, took I a got knee. one off for sure. Yeah. I got one off that night after the show on Friday. I got you should have took a knee, dude. Yeah, you I wasn't thinking about it. You should have jerked on a knee, dude. But anyway, what I was trying to say <laughs> <laughs> was, it's just funny to see a guy who's still clearly pro gun rights. Oh, outside like of driving, Sandy Hook. He, driving in Sandy Hook. What, do you, like what sticker did he have? He had a fucking Blue Lives Matter flag and an American flag. Do you think he loves guns? A big fucking so? elevated pickup truck with like the exhaust. He loves guns. Yeah. yeah safe to sure. say. Safe to say. Uh, undoubtedly. But it's Shit. funny to see. It's like, damn, dude. Even you, you didn't you didn't learn anything from that last That's where the conspiracy go around. That's where the conspiracy came in. Like, I, I'm, I'm right with people being pro-guns. Yeah. Guns are kind of fucking cool. But if I lived in Sandy Hook... You'd be against them? I might, I, that might have changed my mind. No, I mean, nothing, Sandy Hook dude, changed my mind a, quite a bit, and I live here. Nothing will change my mind on guns. What do you mean? I think people should be able to have as much guns as they want. I love guns, dude. That's cool. Let me state for the record, dude. I fucking love guns. That's, I, that's fine. That, that's not a big deal. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with so people. Yeah. People that are pro-guns, yeah. I don't have a problem with. And I get the, no, I get the argument. It's but like, also, if when, they shouldn't have AR-15s to shoot up schools and stuff. In sure. my head, I'm like... I still think AR-15s are sick as fuck. AR-15s so are sick as I fuck. I want one. But. And, you know, I feel bad. I feel do feel bad about it. I feel bad I, about those kindergartners that got shot. I do. All 20 fucking little kids. I do. But right now, if some guy was like, yo, you want to buy an AR-15 for 200 bucks? I'd be like, yes, give it to me. Yeah, all right. Well, <laughs> look, maybe I don't, th- I don't disagree that people should have guns. Yeah, I know you don't. But I think it should be a little more rigorous yeah, the background checks and a little more. I don't know. That's a tough NRA sticker to drive around up there. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're absolutely right. You're a little yeah. closer to the beehive with that one. Sure. He probably actually he probably has an NRA like magnet he takes on and off his car around SH. Sure. Around Sandy Hook, driving around with a fucking "Don't tread on me" snake on your car is like a little like. Yeah. Just well, something about it's a little it, weird. It is, and it's also funny that like Hillary definitely swung down there. Like we need to get rid of guns, and everyone's like, "Fuck you!" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, Connecticut was. It's a weird mix up there. Yeah. So there's also a lot of different races because mm-hmm. they're all from the city, like New York and Boston. What's a city in Connecticut? Well, there's not really. I mean, Hartford's like a shitty city. Yeah. But Connecticut's small enough that gotcha, people are gotcha. usually Boston or New York. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And then you got white trash and you got rich, rich folks. Serfs and lords. Sure. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah. It was odd. It was weird. So you're with the Voss man. You're jerking Voss, off. I was jerking off. Surrounded by white trash. Surrounded by white trash in Puerto Ricans. Really? Lots of PRs up there. PRs are a good mix for comedy. PRs are hilarious. I perform for strictly Puerto Rican audiences. Mm-hmm. A blast, dude. PRs are like the one race you can still get away with making fun of. Yeah. PRs are like uh, Asians. Yeah. You can kind of make fun of them. Yeah, that's true. You can make PRs, fun of PRs, you can make fun of You can be like, what do you guys, steal things and stab people? Stab people you can do. Steal. I didn't know PRs were stealers. You didn't know fucking Puerto Ricans were thefts? I thought they were just hardworking were fucking thefts. like uh, stabbers. They do stab. I thought I thought they were more of like hard... I thought they were just like... No. You're thinking Mexicans are hardworking stabbers. <laughs> Puerto Ricans are <laughs> fucking thief stabbers. I always saw them like multi-talented. Like they, and Cubans are just communist stabbers. You think, they're, you think they have fucking a little bit of snow on their swim. boots? They and got a little snow on their boots? The Cubans... I don't know. I think the Cubans are... You make fun of them for swimming. Yeah, swimming. I mean, you can hit anyone rats. with that. Yeah. They're, that's the Latino, you know, attack. Yeah, but... It's like fence climb. Cuban for sure. Swim. Fence climbers are Mexican. Any kind of... If, yeah, you just... If there's a Latino guy and you want to hurt him, you just remind him of a time they climb challenging terrain. 
Just like, yeah, you climbed a hill, huh? And they're like, fuck you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> or if How you, dare you? Much like the Asians, if you get what country they're from wrong, that'll oh, get yeah, them too. Like if you're, if you're talking to a Puerto Rican, be like, yeah, we're going to build a wall to keep you guys out. That's true. It's like, I'm from, it's an island, motherfucker. Like, nah, dude. <laughs> we're building walls that wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, comedy's great. That's tight. So you didn't, you, wait, I mean, were you bombing or were you having no, a good No, I wasn't sets? bombing. Everything okay. was fine. You yeah. just didn't like them. Uh, yeah, they were, they were talkative. There was a that fucking, sucks, yeah. they, they were, there was this one guy that was super white trash. Mm-hmm. And like while I was on stage just talking, he was just like, how about Pennsylvania football? I was like, what? And he was like, football in Pennsylvania. What about it, bro? Exactly. Like there were people asking me fucking questions during my set, like just talking. Oh, it's crazy. God. It was, yeah. So that sucked. It's the usual sign of low intelligence, yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's people like... that want to interact with this uh, the the person on stage with just a question that you're yeah. thinking. That means yeah. that was rattling around that guy's brain for probably like five minutes. Could he could have been waiting? He, he could have been waiting all night. He probably was like, I'm gonna go to the comedy show, ask the guy about football in Pennsylvania. But <laughs> <laughs> you just so happened to be he from just Pennsylvania while he was driving. Yeah. Just this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good night. It's funny to think of people who are so dumb they go into a comedy show and they're like. I guess I'll just ask him a question. I don't really know what to do right now. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine asking somebody a question while they're talking on stage? No. Outside of heckling. Like, I, I mean, get... it's one thing to be like, you fucking suck. Like, yeah. I get that. Sure, but to be like, funny. what's up with football? There's a lot of people who think that they're helping out oh, comedians by every me. single one of them. I've had family members before be like, who like heckle horribly during shows. And like, yeah, but dude, he riffed off and I kind of helped him out there. And it's like, so, dude, no, you, you didn't. don't have to do no, that. No, you didn't. Don't fucking heckle like that. Yeah. They're, you're a fucking dipshit. Yeah, dude, it was but so funny. But if somebody thinks you suck and they're like, yo, you fucking suck, that's, that's hilarious. That's fair, yeah. You, you can't gotta do... give them that. <laughs> exactly. You gotta be like, yeah, well, fuck you, dude. You suck. Get him the fuck out of here. I had an old boss who literally went to a comedy show the, like all week he was talking about it. He's like, I can't wait to heckle. And I'm like, dude, you're not supposed to heckle. And he was like, you're, you're supposed to heckle, man. If you're good enough, you can get over it. <laughs> and he, he was the helium open mic. Like, and the one guy was on. He just put his head down. He was like, Horrible. <laughs> oh, your uncle did this? That was some guy he used to work oh, for. Shit. Some other guy. He'd be like, terrible. And dude, it was the whole time just being an Holy asshole. Shit. It was so fucking At the funny. open mic? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. That was when the Iceman went up. Iceman will bring it. The Iceman went up. I just saw a video he did. He just... Yeah, he, he went up and did like joke book jokes. You see and, that video uh, he just released? No. He was like walking on the steps. And he stops and talks to the camera. Really? It's pretty sick. I'll get to check that out. Iceman's dropping some heat. Yeah, definitely check out Ice Jokes, dude. That's a sick fucking plug. <laughs> Ice jokes are the best. I feel, man, I feel like this sucks. No, it's good, dude. We're 22 minutes in. All right. Let's take a break, though. All right. Let's take a B. And we're back. Um, yes. Dude, I actually, I put your theory to test about girls liking shitty music all weekend. It's true. Dude, it's, uh, it is. We were in a car, and we had a rental, so Brittany drove the whole time, so she controlled the radio, and mm-hmm. it's like... I, I've actually, was, I was thinking about it, I'm like, all the music we listen to, it just sucks. It's just all yeah. like weird girl songs. And uh, I think what it is, is that it's more so hot chicks have bad taste in music. Maybe. It, I'm, this is through my experience. It's definitely the hotter ones. Like, the better your taste in music, you're probably not that hot. And if you're so hot, all you want to listen to is songs about like 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 Adam Levine being like, I love you so much. You're the most beautiful girl. Sure. Ad, that's like their gangster rap. We were like, if you it. listen to Ice Cube and you're like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm pumped up. They need to listen to some guy be like, you're the most beautiful girl yeah. in the world. You're They're driving around on the <laughs> yeah. I'll treat you like a princess. Yeah. Exactly. You deserve the best. That's their confidence, dude. They're driving around and be like, dude, this is there's yeah. this song's about me. And they just drive oh, around. Oh, God. So I put that together. I'm like, no, damn, No, you're dude. right about that. Yeah. My girlfriend, today, this weekend, my girlfriend and I just fought the whole time. That's awesome. For no reason. Yeah. We hadn't fought in so long. And then this weekend, it was just like... You fired up a good holiday. I roar. drove home from fucking Connecticut. Oh, yeah. I didn't even tell you that. After the second show on Saturday. You fucking went night commando I on didn't it. want to sleep in that hotel again on Saturday night. I drove the whole way from fucking Hartford, Connecticut to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Ooh. At I left Hartford at like 1130 or midnight. Is that five hours? Yeah. I got, I got home at like 5, 530. God damn. And... Even yeah. with that effort, yeah, that nice. Herculean effort to be home for Christmas Eve, to sleep with my bitch on Christmas Eve. So you got home at 5 in the morning on Christmas, the Christmas eve of Christmas eve. eve? No, on Christmas Eve, I woke up at 5.30 on Monday. Okay, gotcha. Or Sunday, excuse me, because Saturday night was the last show. I drove home Saturday night. Oh, so you, yes, you got, got there the day Christmas before eve. Christmas Eve. Gotcha. No, I got home on Christmas Eve. Yeah, but like the very beginning. You got to wake up on sure. Christmas Eve with your baby. Yes. Gotcha. And uh, even then, I just had a salty bitch. 
the whole weekend. At five in the morning? No, that night she was cool. Well, kind of. She was just like, oh, hey. Went to sleep. I was like, hey. Yeah. We could do other things. You're fresh off the road, dude. I just, I just, no, I was dead. You I were, didn't want anything. You were a fucking, horny trucker, dude. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was full on fucking falling asleep. So what do you want to do? I just went to sleep. But no, then the next day it was kind of mm-hmm. like. It's cold. How was it? Oh, cool. I was like, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I see where this is going. Little, hopefully, little. hopefully this mood passes. Uh-huh. It didn't. Really? All weekend up until just now. That when sucks. I left, the mood was still. It was icy. I had a salty bitch for Christmas. <sighs> Nobody asked for that for Christmas. No, that was the, that's the coal of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, even after I got her an amazing gift. Yeah. Amazing from Toxic Draws It. So there's a graphic guy in Philly. Toxic yeah. Yeah. Draws It. Check him out. Uh-huh. Uh, he drew my bitch and my, my bitch's dog. Nice. Into her favorite movies. So she likes Step Brothers. Uh-huh. So I got the, a picture drawn of them. As the stepbrothers. Nice. And a picture of my bitch and her dog. That's uh, what's up. Grand Budapest. It was wonderful. Toxic draws it. Great guy. Yeah. Gave her that gift. She loved it, but still a little... Uh, a little salty, bro. A little salty bitch. I know what she wants for Christmas. What's that? Yeah, you know, a little something... A little fucking finger warmer, dude. What's that? Well, this little something to slip on the fucking ring finger, baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> God damn. Cusky. <laughs> Hit me with that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, at first I thought you were talking about fingering. I was like, no, no dude, I I'm tried. not gonna say that. I tried to finger her. I gave her the picture, then I tried to finger her. I was getting shit from my girlfriend's parents, like, how long have you guys been together? Not parents, but like aunts and shit. Like, you guys should be married by now. And it's like they, it's like this collective fucking force. I know it is. It's like I think it's you know they have like one person in one of those shows, and like they're really like five hundred other people, and they form into one person. You know, what I'm talking. I guess you don't watch a lot of witch and vampire shows like I do. <laughs> No, I don't. You no, know, like a mega witch like the, can like uh, take over the minds of the villagers. Like the Power Rangers form into one thing, kind of. But I'm mean? thinking more of like one dark force, just like putting out their little okay, minions. Yes. You know, it's all yes. I think one like collective the brain. Exactly. Bug in stormtroopers. Exactly. Because it's star troopers. You know, weirdly, yeah, talking. you'll have like these. You know, and I guess it's some weird. I don't know what it is, but like just some ladies aunt I never met being like. Two, two years is long enough. You should be getting married. Yeah, people it's just kind of like, tell you to get married. It's like, God damn, what the fuck? What do you have? What, what the fuck does this have to do with you? It's like, get out of this. <laughs> Luckily, her uncle's looking at me like, fuck her, dude. Don't listen to yeah, The uncles will be like, get the fuck out of there. They're like, dude, shut the film. Fucking listen to this. Yeah. I was actually getting a lot of uh, praise because my girlfriend gained weight. So oh, sick. When you bring yeah, oh, you bring, when you bring home your, no, seriously, you bring home your fucking black girlfriend with some extra pounds on her to her family. Everyone's like, yo, man, you're fucking, you're the man. Oh, you're so that, the man. I'm the man, yeah. For giving her so many if you sweet put treats. Weight, if you put weight on your bitch, dude, that's a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely fatten your girlfriend up. You, you fucking put put a good 25 pounds on, dude. We're digging some holes here. <laughs> if our bitches get a hold of this. <laughs> no, she knows, dude. Yeah, I bet she does. But, you know, I love dude, it. I, if our I, bitches I love it. get a hold of this cast. <laughs> We're in trouble. You fucked me. You fucked me. <laughs> My bitch is fat as fuck, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Shut Dude, up. That's... I know she's mad, right? What? She's no, not... you're not. Shut up. No, she's not fat at all. Your, your girlfriend's been hitting the fucking gym. Yes. Mine but... has not. Been. <laughs> <laughs> she would fucking kill me, dude. But no, I think she looks good. So I was getting more like a. Because there's not a Mine lot of like. Mine has not. <laughs> there's not a lot of points within like white chicks for thickening up. No. You know what I mean? So she's no. getting her like. Her aunts and like all these people would be like, "Oh, Brittany, you're getting a little butt on you." So like, you know, they're definitely checking out each other's butts and comparing. So it's a whole different ball game. So thicker, yeah. thicker than a snicker. I think baby. you gotta watch that with black ladies, right? Why they fucking blow up, don't they? Not really, dude. No, no, they a lot of it, it all depends. They can. I, thought, I felt like that was a stereotype of like black ladies because I, I feel like every old black lady I see is a fucking house. <laughs> that, can, <laughs> that can happen. No, that can happen. Yeah. Then I'd watch ladies who've eaten like shit and they're just like great shaped. Sure. I think it's, it's probably the, they can. It's they have to work harder to house out because like I I just feel like black ladies can eat. I used to date a lady who ate like six Laffy Taffies every night before bed. <laughs> she, had a, she had a decent body, dude. She had a decent body. Dude. So. Black ladies. Well, here, without getting too depressed about this, uh, black ladies, they probably get, black people probably get fatter because their diets 
the diets are pretty that the bad. white man has forced upon them is like no. hey, eat a Snickers right now. Not even that, dude. It's like I've talked to coworkers before where they're I think I've, I might have even said this where there's guys putting like 14 sugars into his coffee. Not exaggerating. Sure. Yeah, I've seen that. And I'm like, dude, you're going to get diabetes. He's like, it runs in my family, dude. If I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. I'm like, no, bro. Like <laughs> yeah, type two diabetes. Like, so yeah, the diets. I feel like I feel like definitely. Uh, you get you get some black health nuts, but for the most part, the yeah. health revolution is a lot of like white people with gluten free, white dairy people with free. enough privilege to be like, no, I don't want to eat fast food today. I don't eat dairy. Sure, just cutting dairy out is being like, eh, I'll eat soy milk. But there's there's yeah. a lot a lot of black people are lactose intolerant too, though on the yeah. on the low, lactose lactose retarded. That's a one headliner called it. Dude. Lactose retarded. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got what the fuck are we even talking? Oh yeah, how girls the music? Yeah, they girls. So I had a I had an icy bitch. So when she's yeah. icy. Yeah. She plays the music in the car. That's when I know she's in a fucking shitty yeah, mood. Yeah, you gotta let them have their fucking... She, like, controls the radio and we just don't talk. Uh-huh. So, like, if she's in a good mood, she'd be like, put on whatever you want. Uh. Yeah. So when she's in a bad mood, it's her music and we just don't talk. So we're listening to fucking Adam Levine uh, and all this... Po- she listens to the fucking radio. She Ed Sheeran, like, yeah, all that stuff that's like... The pop radio. I it's so fucking it's, dude, bad. It's horrible, man. And there's nothing that. So first off, we fight for absolutely no reason. Mm-hmm. So she's mad for. And nothing. you gotta listen to some and guy then sit in the car Ugh. listening to fucking pop stations. Yeah. There's nothing that makes me angrier than just being like, what? In my head, I'm just like, what the fuck are you upset about? Yep. And I have a soundtrack of shit to think about that, too. <laughs> it makes me feel weird. Yeah, when I'm in an argument... And I'm and just like, fuck it. I'll, we can fucking end this right now. I don't give a fuck, dude. So you if go, you like, full, like... So you're, I don't say it, but she's I... She's on Ed Sheeran, and you're on, like, 1998 Eminem, dude. I'm you're just looking like, out the window, just <laughs> fucking, like, I don't care at all. <laughs> if she wants to act like a salty bitch, I have no room for it. You're I'm done. just like, dude, I'll fucking walk. The pop radio will do that to you. Pop radio and a salty bitch is enough to get me just like... Hey, dude, it kills you. I'll roll out of this car right now. I have a weird thing with pop music anymore to where like whenever I hear a song, like the last one that was like... Uh, what was that Rihanna song where it was like they had like the Carlos Santana going on in the background? You know what I'm talking about? It's like... Yes. Din, 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 wicked Wild Thoughts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, any song like that anymore, any sort of like pop hit, I just all I can think about is... Like a dental hygienist listening to it and just like just have le- like left some guy with like an attitude t shirt from like coming inside of her butt. <laughs> She's driving into work the next day, like, wow, wow. <laughs> That's who's consuming that. Yeah. It's just like all every time I listen to pop music, I just think of like drunk dental hygienists driving back into work all like fucked up. They slept out that night and just got like railed by some fucking dude. <laughs> some shitty guy in a local yeah. bar. They're listening. It's just like listen uh, to Kesha. Ke- exactly. Kesha's the Tick shit though. Talk on the clock and they're just driving like I'm the best. Kesha's the shit. I dude, I'm telling you, I, that's all I can think about now. Every new song that's that comes really out, Brittany's like, How about this song? And it's just like the dental hygienist comes back in my head. I'm like Dental nope, hygienist getting butt fucked <laughs> and then still having to go to work yeah. and listening to it. Just like, wow, what a crazy night. Yep. <laughs> Viana is so fucking sweet. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, I mean, it's the same thing for comedy, though. It's the same retard consumption. Yeah. Like, I mean, the crowds at the shows this weekend, like me and Voss were mm-hmm. even talking about it. It's just like, these people are fucking idiots. Yeah. And that's who's dumb enough to go to a fucking comedy show. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you go see stand-up randomly, mm-hmm. like, if you're not a fan of the guy, it's cool. I understand doing that. I lo- obviously, I like comedy yeah. a lot. But, like, there's there's a groups of fucking idiots. Yeah. Groups of really stupid fucking people. Yeah, it's that bizarre. That you gotta try to make laugh. And the only thing that they laugh at is dick. Yeah. Dick and pussy jokes. Yeah. Or, like, you gotta do real, uh, you know, like my wife... My wife. No, no, no my, like my wife fucking <laughs> you just gotta do a bore take her, please, dude. You yeah, bore yeah, her yeah. impersonation would kill. Yeah. But if there was a guy I opened for and he was just crushing with like, yeah, man, I pile up my wife all the time. We fight. When I'm by, I'm by myself, I'm like, I don't fight. It's you, babe. And everyone's like. I think, I think I've had I think I've had that take exactly on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> my, my bitch tried to parallel park in the city. You guys got in a fight? Got in a fight immediately. She's like before before she even hit moved it in reverse. Really? She like put it in reverse and instantly was like, shut up, I'm trying. I was like, oh my god. Dude, I've bowed out of all so I my last my latest ebook right now is meditation. Yeah. So now I'm a big meditation head. Yeah. So I'm too cool for my bitch, dude. She comes and tries to hit me with stuff and I'm just kinda like, hmm. I'm like the dude from Kill Bill on her now. Oh boy. And the book I'm reading right now, this dude 
you can tell towards the middle is he wrote this meditation book and then like a good four chapters of dedicating to like how to handle your bitch when she's salty. He's <laughs> like, and just tell her that, uh, dude. It's so funny. Yeah. This guy. It's like he wrote this book just to deal with his fucking babe. I handle it the exact. This is a new. I used to fucking. Way. I used to spaz and lash out, dude. I don't spaz ever, but I'm just like, what are you fucking mad at? Like, why are you doing this? You can't like, even get. You can't you, even get accusatory. Do that. Can't even get yeah. accusatory. You should be like, well, you instigate. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I instigate a little, but yeah, I don't do this. It starts out with her being a salty bitch. Mm-hmm. And then my f- way of dealing with that is being like, you're acting like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, that fucking crushes and them, And that's dude. terrible. It crushes them. I go, my whole thing now is that when my bitch gets too salty, I completely just get super nice. And I'm just like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I don't know what's uh, going yeah, on. But dude. she'll know what I'm doing if I do that. Yeah, but you, there's ways you can do it. Yeah. Or you can be like, you know, or you just gotta let him fucking spaz. I let her sure. spaz on me all the time, and I wait, and then I get a good fucking. I'm sorry, and I'm like, it's totally fine. So I've been ice cold. I've been cool, but I've been doing half hour blocks of meditation in the morning. Yeah. So I'm too. I, I'm unstoppable, dude. That's You've my been big doing meditation for two hours. No, half an hour. Half an hour. I'm sorry. Every I morning. Said two. I was like, damn, dude, that's crazy. Half an hour is tough, man. I've been trying to do well, you like just sit on the floor. Half an hour uninterrupted. Indian I set a timer. Style. I sit in my computer chair and I listen to fucking like. Dee- and I sit in my chair and. So you just take a nap every morning. No, I don't. I don't sleep, dude. I don't sleep. <laughs> I'm I'm unstoppable right now, and I've stopped trying to be right against my bitch. That's the thing. I'll, if, like using logic is just not the weapon to use. What against bitch? You, it just goes nowhere. If you, as soon as I get her into a corner of like, yeah, but you said this, so I, and then it makes all it all makes sense, and she, they'll just pivot. Yeah. They're in, you're on like a pure two D realm of arguments, and they're in like a 360 virtue fighter dude they're like they can spin and move and jump and you're just like a two-dimensional polywog dude you're just like walking around like what (laughs) you're a pac-man yeah you can't (laughs) you're like this happened and then this happened and then this. you have to be full nelson mandela nelson mandela they he would uh all the guards that were like come and like i guess guard him be like mean to him he'd be super nice to them so Mm -hmm. they'd start being nice to him they'd have to take the guards away and switch them yeah, so all you can do. Your, your babe's basically a prison warden, dude. So you have to just make yeah. her. You got to be nice to her. But my babe, like that's that was her pivot. She was like, I was like, man, you really you're in a terrible fucking mood. Like, what happened? What's wrong? Mm-hmm. She's like, I, it's not. She's like, you fucking, you instigate. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. I mean, I instigate after you're in a bad mood. Yeah, like, I'm going back. I do to the, the same original. thing. I'm if, like, what happened that started this fight that we're in now? Yeah. And she's like, well, you kept pushing it. It's like, yeah, I know. But what happened to start this fight? Like, it's just the Who constant knows, pivot. Dude. It's like, it's my fault for now that we're fighting. So you're, you're, you're trying to go towards the bottom of the fucking abyss, dude. You're trying yeah, to get I'm to the... You to can't, like, What dude. is the problem here? What's the problem that started this? No, you and can't. And then it's like... <laughs> well, then you screamed at me. It's like, yeah. I, first off, I didn't fucking scream. Yeah, I know. I slightly raised my voice, and it was after it was mid fight. It was mid fight. They'll do that, and it'll be like, well, what's the matter? And it's like nothing. I'm fine. And I'm oh like, my God. well, clearly you're not. And they're like, well, I just literally said I'm fine. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. you understand, you know, body language and all. Yeah, and they're yeah, like, yeah. whatever. And you're just like, all right, <laughs> fuck this. Yeah. But I, I just go in the other. My big thing is I go in the other room. Take sure. a, a, taking a walk is a powerful statement. You take a walk, dude. They don't know where you're at for 20 minutes. You have to walk go on 30 minutes, and they get a they're little like, like did he just fucking leave? The second leave? you walk out the room, they're like, where the fuck did they go? <laughs> I mean, I'll never see them again. Oh, my God. Then take you walk a, back in, and they're like, holy fuck, I love you. Yeah, you take a nice long walk, dude. Yeah. You know, I, I won't get it. I love you right away. I'll get it, like, the day later, but that sure. walk's such a powerful precedent, dude. Well, we'd be good. We literally hadn't been in a fight for, like, months. Yeah, Months I'm the opposite. I've been, no I've been, fighting. I've been on like, I've been in Gettysburg for like a yeah, month, and then, and then <laughs> yeah, bullets have been flying since day one. Dude. And then, you guys last, like Eminem and Rihanna, and that oh, one, we are, dude. Burning song. The last, what it's called. the last, uh, the last week has been real mellow, dude. I've been doing my meditation. I've been on back Holy on no shit, fat. My bitch just texted me, dude. What she said? She, you better she not be talking shit. Sent me a picture shit. of the dog. <laughs> oh, so you guys made up? No, because. She was like, "Are you? Uh, I don't want to read her text. I, I don't read her text. But it was, it was basically like, she was apologizing. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, but you got it. The fucking, only way, I mind fuck. I can, I can get in there and be like, all right, let's see it. Yeah. Like when I left to come back to Philly, I was like, all right, later. You fucked up this weekend. I was like, you ruined Christmas, <laughs> and now I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to. I get in arguments so bad that like they only can be end. They only can be ended by a cream pie. That's the only way to make amends, dude." <laughs> 
if you fucking don't come inside your girlfriend, you're still arguing. Until you fucking oh, cream pie. Interesting her. theory. I've never cream pied. You guys have been fighting forever. I don't dude. cream pie. That's dude. the that's only. That's the only time. Of, that's the only time of peace, dude. That's a high risk. That's maneuver. the only time of peace. You got to send a nice cream pie. You hold hands and lay there, and it's like that's your peace. Half hour at a time. Matt. <laughs> Ew. Hey man, that's how you make Ew. up. What cream pie? Yeah. Ew, dude. I and I and I love you, cream pie, dude. As you're coming, I love you. <laughs> You have some really awful <laughs> theories. This may be your dumbest fucking theory. The cream pie, and I when also... you listen to this, and you have a fucking child that you created out of a fight, yeah. you're going to feel That's like how you a make kids, moron. dude. Read Angela's Ashes. <laughs> Read Angela's Ashes. <laughs> but no, that's how you do it. I also can't sleep unless I'm holding a tit. That's my new realization. Mm, I do that sometimes. It's very I, I can't fucking sleep, nice. Dude. You snuggle with a tit in your hand? Snuggle hands? with a tit hold? Uh-huh. Woo! Yeah. You try to get two sometimes, you get that's the fucking, fucking turned down. Get dude. that fucking slide. They're good at that. <laughs> I know, dude. Dude, I that's fucking... karate, if, dude. If that's when you also know. If you are if you can spoon and hold a tit, you're not in a fight. Yeah. I'll be spooning when we're in a fight, and I'll go for the tit, and she'll be like, yeah. And I'm like, I can't hold your tit, seriously? Like, you're that mad? She's I like, can't hold yeah. your tit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way. That's my pacifier, dude. Yeah, Yo, you... I gotta be squeezing a D, otherwise I... your bitch I, must what? be the weirdest fucking people. Oh, we fight all the time. You guys must just be... It must be crazy. <laughs> no, it's, we, it's been peaceful, dude. It must be real crazy Is to that, see. Like, just peaceful. the dynamic of, like... It's bizarre, it must dude. must be so funny. It's bizarre world, man. You guys probably say and do some real weird shit. All the time. <laughs> it's this total bizarre world. But, you know... Mine, mine is exactly what you'd imagine. Placid. I, I sit on the couch and play Quiet. FIFA. She walks around and does shit. Yeah. Occasionally, I'll we'll talk. <laughs> it's nice. Well, this was the first weekend we actually like would be in a car, and like a half hour go by, and I'd be like, "Oh fuck!" And we'd just forget the other one was sitting there. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was the first. And I was like, "Did you cool. drive to Chicago?" No, I didn't. She had the rental, so she just stick. Oh no, I, I meant no. We flew. Fuck yeah, no, we flew. We flew on Christmas Day. Some guy got motherfucked, dude. You flew on Christmas flew Day. Flew home on Christmas Day. Damn. Some guy, the flying out there, the flight got delayed two hours. We had to get, all get off the flight because the fuel thing was fucked up. Yeah. So this guy, it was just a mess, basically. So the guy's trying to call everyone by name to get back on the plane like two hours later. Yeah. And this one dude, I guess, demanded to get on earlier. So he went up there, dude. And he started talking shit to this flight attendant guy and like just this fat, big, big, fat white guy in short shorts. Big, fat white guy. Big, fat. Was who was Not a flight to? attendant. No, no. Not a flight attendant, but like the ticket guy. Yeah. Was so it a white guy? He was the white guy. The ticket guy was this big, fat white guy in like mailman really? shorts. Yeah, he's chill and he's fucking miserable. And this fucking dude goes up. He looked like a, uh, like a short buzz hair guy. He might have been like a Puerto Rican dude or something. Sure. Went up to him, started fucking talking shit. This guy slammed the list down in front of everyone. I was like, I'll kick you the fuck off his plane. And the guy was just like, eh. <laughs> oh dude, fuck! Shut his shit down. Everyone was just like, holy, because people were being like. What the fuck? Come on. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And this guy decided to get like prime time in this dude's face. And the guy pulled his card. He's like, I'll give you the fuck I'll off. fuck you up, dude. Damn, a white Instantly, guy? Yeah, it was like, I will kick you right off this thing. Where, where was this, Chicago? No, we were in Philly Airport. Oh, that was Philly. We are trying to fly out of Philly. Okay. Someone's fucking, dude. I, you were, I didn't know which way you were going. No, nah, dude, we're trying to get to Chicago. Sure. Someone's fucking mailman shorts. Wasn't uncle sure if you were was flying like, back. No, nah, the flight back was nothing. Well, that was a conversation I had. Remember the lady with the... Uh, Israel Palestine argument. Yeah. Same night, her boyfriend, who's like Indian, uh huh, Pakistani, one of those. Okay. He was like, Yeah, I get random security checks. You know that age old brown mm-hmm. person joke where they're like, Yeah, and it's random. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's like, No, dude, it's not. And I hope they definitely fucking check you. <laughs> I really hope they check Dude, you. My mom told me to, uh, she's like, You know, there's a lot of terror attacks, so be very careful in the airport, you know. If you see anything suspicious, and I'm and my mom was like, "Yeah, I should be fully reporting Indian people everywhere." Dude, it's like, "Yo, check that guy." <laughs> yeah, well, and then and then they were complaining. I'm not about, against that either. If some guy's like, rolling in there like that, I'm 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 in my head, dude. When I hear like the I go like in the airport, I turn around. Yeah, I'm, I'm just naturally. Dude, I told you when I was in D.C. That call, on 9-11, we were down there in Washington, D.C., and a car full of dudes and, like, <laughs> Pakistanis pulled up to the entrance where, like, the bottom driveway of the White House, and I grabbed my girlfriend and ran across the street, dude. I was like, I'm fucking out of here. Well, I, no, the conversation was like... I just hate bombs, dude. I have nothing against... Bombs. I hate bombs, dude. Yeah. And if I can, you know, decrease the chance of getting blown bombs. up. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> but no, they were talking about racial profiling, and I was like, 
Yeah, well, most of the fucking TSA agents are definitely going to be like racial profiling. They're yeah. going to do that. It's all black ladies. Yeah. It's all fat black ladies. Yeah. That's who the TSA agents are. Like when people complain about racial profiling at yeah. airports, it's like, so you're complaining against black people uh-huh. racially profiling Indians? Yeah. It's like, dude, it's, it's a black it's, lady from Atlanta yeah. airport is going to get you <laughs> yeah. every single time. She's going to be like, uh-uh, <laughs> yeah. Muhammad, take your fucking shoes off. <laughs> yeah. Step out of line, please, yeah. sir. Step out of line, yep. please. Step it's, out of line. Dude, it's that, and it's mostly that, like, weird nerd white guys who are usually fat as well. Yeah. And then the occasional, like, butch chick. So, yeah, yeah. you're definitely the, rocking the with a trifecta. The white guys that are TSA agents are st- the white, they look like the type of white guy that would watch a Medea movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the only qualification to work at TSA. <laughs> you just have to watch a Medea movie and be like, that was actually good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Besides that's, the family that prays, that's Tyler Perry's fucking smash hit. Sure. That's not Medea, though. Really? Family well, praise. Anyway, any lit. Tyler Perry movie. No, no. Every Medea is a good lit- Medea is a good litmus test to watch that and be like, man, that was funny. Yeah, that just was a bald hilarious. Fat white guy that's like, ho oh, oh, oh. coming out like Medea, don't play, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, whole work. That's well that's with an interesting theory because they're like sassy staff. It definitely. I've I've walked, dude. When you go into like areas of West Philly, like basically the hood, and you go to like you watch the the, the interaction of like a Dunkin' Donuts mm-hmm. where it's like black lady versus like an Indian cashier. Those black ladies are ruthless, dude. Yeah, well, they don't. They're the, ruthless, dude. If you're worried about racism, black ladies at the top of the totem pole. Yeah. As far as who they lord over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I mean, if you're an Indian person talking shit, I mean, it'd be like the same way you would treat a rich white guy. Yeah. Or a rich white a dork. Piece of shit, yeah. You'd be like, listen, fucking idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. You're rich. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. No, the black lady can walk in and be like, listen, you fucking dothead. Give me my Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> <laughs> right fucking now. Yeah, I've heard yeah. him come in and be like, what the fuck did the guy say to her? He was saying like some sort of bagel. And she was like, I actually had a salmon bagel. She's like, learn English. Yeah, learn yeah, and Speak, ah, uh, I can't, huh? What's that, dude? Yeah, well, it's hard Ruthless. also. Because if you're standing at the register with them, when that when that racial battle is going on, yeah. it's hard who to side with. I'm on the black lady side. You side with the black lady? It's just so funny I side to me, with dude. whoever's looking at me. Like, if one of them looks at me, like, let's say, <laughs> the black lady looks at me in the, in the Indian... <laughs> Cashier's yeah. looking away. I'll look at her and be like, "Huh? How about this? Yeah, you used to yeah. learn English." <laughs> and then if the Indian looks over, I'm like, "Fucking, I'm telling you." <laughs> See what we're talking about? That's a good way. That's a good way to be. Yeah, you gotta be you're neutral. you're basically a free agent for sure. I just sit there, dude. I just sit there the whole time. I was like, excellent. <laughs> yeah, you just shout con nice. that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> the nice uh, technique. Go down to Sev by on Lancaster Ave. Yeah, go down to that Seven Eleven. Oh, you'll you get just that. hang out. You'll catch a big black lady come in and yell at the. Well, that's different. The there's like Somalis. Get, there's like Somalis down there. It's still foreign. Black oh yeah, people shit on Somalis. That's true, dude. American I American to- black people versus Africans. Oh, dude. I mean, fucking. That's I'm going off the of best races. I'm going off of like three or four encounters, but it was like guys talking about how. They didn't want their girlfriends fucking African dudes. These are black dudes being like, I don't want my girlfriend fucking African dudes. I don't want her to get AIDS. I tell African dudes to get their AIDS dicks out of here. The laborers I used to work for, mm-hmm. the one guy would constantly, this black dude would call the Africans monkeys all the time. Yeah, they're all the like ruthlessly. And like they would f- they would be <laughs> ten feet below us and he would drop drywall on them and shit. Like he hated them, dude. <laughs> you ever ask a fucking African about what he thinks about black people? They hate American Get them black going, people. Dude. Yeah, they hate like, American. They give us a bad name. It's like, whoa, dude, take it easy. We can tell the difference. <laughs> you don't have to worry about us lumping you in together. You guys are black <laughs> as fuck. We see and you, you have red yeah, eyes. when you have fucking tuxedo shoes and a dress up shirt, dude, <laughs> yeah. we're like, oh, there's an African and guy. Dark red eyes. <laughs> They always have red fucking eyes. <laughs> you think they have like fog machines in their they apartment? Have like yellowish red eyes, dude. Go look at next time you see an African. <laughs> guaranteed red eyes. <laughs> that is a fucking heavy beef. I used to think they it's were like beef. our version of British people. You know what I mean? To where yeah. we're like fucking Brits. They probably see Africans. They're like fucking Africans. The fucking oh, oh, we don't speak the language. Yeah, yeah, probably yeah. fuck you. I, I I'd imagine it's a little different. Well, also, man, I mean... Uh, theirs seems, like, genuinely harsh. It is fucking harsh, dude. Ours is... Ours with British are, like... You'd still want to get fucked up oh, with I mean, Brits. imagine this, too. It's, like... 
you're an American black guy and a lot of white guys, I'm not saying this is the whole thing behind racism, but there's the sure. whole thing with like, if you're a white guy, black guy, there's a weird dick thing going on where like, black guy fucked your girlfriend. If you're black, the only thing that can trump your card in America, you're like, dude, an African guy fucked a guy from Africa. He's been charging his dicks in the charger longer than yours. Yeah. It's like, dude. Maybe. Fuck. So they're Maybe probably like, so dude, get these all. motherfuckers out of here. Yeah, we want to have the biggest dicks. I mean, I just assume a guy from Africa's dick's bigger. Front than an American. Big it's just dick? been by. It's just been by like Dick Mountain in Africa, dude. And it's True. just been charging up. So I, I think. Perhaps. That, I think when they see them coming, they're like, "Get you fucking! They have AIDS. Get them the fuck out of yeah. here." Yeah, so I've heard Somali, that one a lot. Yeah, some skinny ass Somali with a dick down to his knees comes in here. One of those dudes from like a viral high jumping video, yep. dude. Fuck yep. that! He's doing man. high jumps. He's jumping over the <laughs> counter to sell you some lottery tickets. <laughs> He's high jumping over a Seven Eleven. Who boy? See, so you, and you're a black guy. Just you're big. Thick, you're like a cheesesteak eating black guy. You're dude. a black lady that needs your fucking lottery numbers. Yeah, you need your fucking picks, and this guy can't get it right. True. It's yeah. It's time to deport these motherfuckers. <laughs> if you're a black lady, exactly. As a white man, I just sit back and say, "Hey, you guys, take your time. Have at it. Yeah, get what you need. Watching race on like different <laughs> races fight is like yeah, it's awesome." Well, and it's also so fucking prevalent. Like, racism's a problem. When, like, you see people who are like, I'm Latinx. Racism is a problem in this country. Sure. It's like, yeah, dude, for everyone. Yeah, oh, yeah. Everyone's fucking bad. Yeah. That's just the way your brain's designed. Sure. Us, them mentality, be like, yo, dude, they're fucking worse. Yeah. But. I mean, that's, it lumps it's every, the whole way up. Yeah. Like, all right, so within our roommates, uh -huh. it's like, yeah, you and me are the best, dude. Fuck yeah, our roommates. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And then if it was our house versus another house, I'd be like, our house fucking crushes their house. They fucking suck. <laughs> and then if it was just Philly versus another thing, I'd be like, Philly's fucking so much better than then, that yeah. shitty city. And you break it down, you're yeah. like, well, who's the best now? And everyone gets all quiet and like, we're the best, we're the best. We're yeah, the best. everyone's like, dude, we're the best. We're definitely the best, dude. <laughs> J.J. Watt's fucking gay. <laughs> I'm the best. <laughs> yeah. I don't okay. even think I... Did I even bring up J.J. Watt in this one? No. When I was talking about Caitlin, we were talking about how hot guys. Oh, it's like the same, God, how hot guys can come concept. and just fuck your girlfriend. No, how hot famous guys. Sure. At any moment, and any but time. But still that same level of like, yeah, but we're the best. Like you can... Whoever you, you're with is like, yeah, dude, you are the best, That's dude. true. J.J. Watt's true. fucking gay. <laughs> yeah, how like if you see a guy who's somewhat yeah. better than you, you're like, fuck that guy. Yeah. That is funny to think, though, how at any point, like on your wedding day, after you were reading sure. your girlfriend's vows, it's like... Bruno Mars could show up. Bruno Mars can show up and just butt fuck your girlfriend in front of her family. <laughs> you just have nothing you have done. I would murder him. <laughs> oh, dude. That was no, one of my... Bruno Mars butt fucked my girlfriend or my wife in yeah. front of me, I'd just be like, all right, wedding's off. I think I'm pretty... I think I'm pretty... You think you'd handle Bruno Mars butt fucking your girlfriend? I think I'd just be like, this is chaos, dude. <laughs> and also, thank you for... Taking this, dude. Would you get? You'd have to get some sort of payout. I think if Bruno, Bruno Mars, Mars fucked your girlfriend, I think you're liable to like a hundred thousand. Probably. You should get some sort of grievance. That'd be tough money to think take. Think they have funds for I that? Think that's tough money to take. What? Be like you fucked my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> give I mean, me one porcel, or give me a little bit of what you have. You get like an autographed album. <laughs> I'll take an autographed Bruno Mars. <laughs> that's a tough pill to swallow. That dude. happened to. Uh, some dude, Fletcher Cox from the Eagles, fucked his wife. He got money for it? And uh, he's like suing Fletcher Cox. <laughs> like, that ruined my marriage. Yeah, that'll definitely do it. Sure. Get an Eagles player I fucking... Think, yeah, an Eagles defensive lineman comes in and deep dicks your wife in a I mean, just room. think about the fact that I can wow, push I can push on my torso and get an extra inch out. If I weighed 300 pounds of all muscle, they'd probably push an extra four inches out of their body. So when he lays it's down on her, it's probably just like... It's probably... Just... It's so much weight, dude. She, that's just a hot white lady from the South getting a ah, bull. And imagine your wife wow, limp. Dude. Imagine like, you know, probably took a couple times too. So that wife was probably limping around. Oh. She's probably pussy limping here and oh, there. And he was like, man. what's happening to you? She's like, oh, I went horseback riding. She's like, oh, the Eagles are on. Oh, I guess they're in town. <laughs> it's like, did you fuck a defensive lineman from the Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? That's tough. That's dude. literally the worst. I'm, I'm definitely D thinking. D lineman in the NFL fucking your wife. D lineman or like. D lineman, that's, a, that's like a three hundred twenty pound black dude. What about LeBron, dude? LeBron fucking my girlfriend. I'd rather I, have I'd LeBron give her a than pass. A, I'd rather have no. I'd rather have LeBron's LeBron. Hot and a billionaire. He's not hot, but it's still like. He's, yeah, you said he's hot. A, he's that's hot. That's a fucking. Yeah, he's he's an attractive man. Yeah, that's fine. He's charismatic. That's yeah. He's I suck his dick. I know. <laughs> no, but but LeBron. I'm talking about pussy damage. I don't care about status of the person. I'm talking about who's status. reigning in the damage. 
I the Bron I've seen the Bron stick. It's not as impressive. I saw his flash, but he might be Still a grower. Nice. He might be a grower. And that was in game. And he's also post game. That's a big dick for after a game. He's also six eight, so I'm expecting like sure. knee dangler. I but don't know. I don't know, LeBron. I mean, you think Jordan's got a hog? Probably. I don't think you'd do that many free Jordan's throws. Jordan's competitive, though. He might have a short, tiny little dick. That's what I'm saying, dude. I don't think you become the best yeah. at free throws having a big-ass dick, dude. Shaq think, fucking... Thinks, Shaq's not good at free who's throws. Who's the last guy on earth you want to destroy your marriage? Oh, man. Who's just the worst? Drake, I think. Drake would. I'd hate if fuck, Drake... Drake is a great answer. Dude, I, I've actually... I, this is like my turnpike fantasy of him like trying to fuck my girlfriend and me and be like, I'll fucking kill you, dude. Get out of here. I've <laughs> Get definitely, away, I've Drake. definitely thought about like fighting Drake off or how I'd attack him. Drake would suck. He, also, that a, would douche, a douche suck. would suck. Fucking yeah. Levine. Who's that? Adam Levine? That yeah. would be horrible. That would be terrible. The worst guy, honestly, would be... Who was the dude who got Martin Shekel, who, like, bought that pharmaceutical yeah, company? That'd be, that would be a tough one. The guy who, like, raised AIDS medicine and, like, yeah. made a billion dollars? If if somebody... I don't know. If somebody hateable fucked my girlfriend... Yeah. That would... I don't know. Drake would be tough. If it was somebody I loved, that would really suck. If it was, like, <laughs> Notre Dame's quarterback just fucked my girlfriend. <laughs> well, that would ruin Notre Dame for you. Sure. Because I'm telling you, man. I, oh, I didn't even tell you this. The uh, well, I did, but I think it got deleted. When I was in uh, when I was in Chicago for Christmas, I was moving my uh, was like getting all the old stuff out of my babe's room to take back with us. <laughs> Fucking dude! Apparently, she had it. like I just see Nelly pictures everywhere. I'm in like her childhood room, and I'm like, "Fucks is all the ne- what's up with Nellyville, dude?" Got like country my, grammar. Yeah, what the fuck is this Nelly flexing and like pointing and shit? And there was a picture with her and Nelly, and it's just like someone her friend photoshopped it uh. for her birthday. And it was like Brittany and Nelly forever, and I was just like. So mad, dude. And I had to just Damn. not be pissed about that. You got to And fucking... instantly, dude, I was thinking about like country grammar, EI, and I'm like, I fucking hate well, that. Those right songs now. all suck. Those songs are awesome, dude. And in my head, no, if they, I, love I know if they come on, I'm going to be like, fuck him, dude. Yeah. Fucking Nelly. Well, he just got accused. He got Did accused he? a little bit ago. Of what? I think he beat the case, but, you know, he got accused of what's going around, he's dude. He's definitely guilty. He, oh, he's, he's, he almost caught the fucking... He uh, caught the bug. He almost caught the bug. The bug's going around right who else, now. Who else, who else was getting in trouble for that? Oh, Vice Magazine got in trouble, but the two really? top dogs were like, we weren't part of it. Nice. Yeah. But Everybody's getting the bug. It's the plague. Yeah, this is the bubonic plague, <laughs> dude. It's the fucking... Well, I saw the lady. I mean, what's going to happen is uh, these guys are going to have to step down, dude. I can't believe Nelly's going to fuck your girlfriend. He fucking better not, dude. You think I Nelly... saw those pictures, dude. I was like, God damn it. That's the thing. Nelly could pop. I was like, that's where this re-entered my head. I'm in a room and I'm like... I'm safe for now, but fucking Nelly could pop out. And like, Nelly that's could, like he's dropping down. His stock's falling enough that he might fucking might girlfriend. fucking pop up somewhere. He could, yeah, because he like it, it's such a young an adolescent crush of that capacity where you're sure. hanging pictures on Nelly's someone. Still hot. This doesn't fuck. go away. Nelly's hot as fucking. He's Nelly's hot and he's still rich. Yeah. So it's like I mean he might settle out for a couple cases, but oh, he'll man. still have some money. Like an R and B guy fucking your girlfriend would suck too. I think I could handle that a little better. Really? Nah, Chris Brown, I'd be. Chris Brown is peeved. who I was thinking of. I'd be dude. peeved. Doing I was, dance moves. He's I was a thinking more about dancer. Trey songs. He'd be really sweet about it, but Chris Brown, he'd have her doing fucking like ecstasy and shit. It'd be bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. If somebody's gonna fuck my girlfriend, they better be a white normal guy. Well, I just want them to be. I just sweet. want a nice guy. To you want to? You want to get cucked by a white dude? I want to get cucked by a fucking no. I want to get cucked by the best. <laughs> yeah, you had some. I'm gonna get cucked by Fletcher Cox. Do you? I'm gonna call the Eagles. You should... <laughs> be like, send down Fletcher Cox. Bring him down here. No, I'm gonna cuck you. I don't want to get cucked, but I, I just no, want to wanna... get cucked either. I just, I just want. I don't know. Is it better to get cucked by a guy with a lot of attitude and sass, or like a quiet nerd? Gotta Qu- get a quiet getting nerd. Cucked by a quiet nerd would suck. Just having their inner like, <laughs> I got him. No, I need a obedient. And a big nerd dick. I need they're, to, they're who, dick that just like developed from not playing sports during puberty true. years. They have a fucking watermelon between them. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody who I'm better than. Yeah. You know, so I can be like, yeah, you fuck her. I, I mean, I, I need could, to be the in control. Wow. I don't want someone dominating. You'd have the to whole fuck. Room. You'd have the only way to get over that is to fuck him. Fuck his butt. You have to fuck him. This is crazy what we're talking. Or about. act no. <laughs> this or makes no sense. <laughs> yes, it does. Or just act, tell him, like, yo, I'm real into that, dude. Keep doing it. Yes. The guy was like, yo, I'm not doing this. How about Brett Favre? That'd be cool. Brett Favre fucked your lady? He'd be respectful. I'd take that. He'd, you know, he'd probably... Take a nice southern gentleman fucking my lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the type of shit that pisses me off, is that corny fucking... It's like, I'd don't get tricked. I don't want anyone, dude. Yeah. 
But yeah, there is no good answer to that. Obama, your, your relative, your, Trump. If you have a brother, that's maybe some consolation. What if your brother fucked your girlfriend? I don't know if that's better or worse. It's probably the worst thing that could happen. Okay, so that's scratched off and just spitballing here. The worst. Thought we we're in a safe fucking think tank. What if your brother <laughs> fucked your? I, I'm just putting it out there. Is that what your you thoughts. want? I don't want that at all. You want your brother? No. You got a lot of. Weird... I'm saying, what's better? You're someone like a relative you know and trust, or like a fucking wild stranger. It gotta be a wild stranger, because I don't want to lose a friend. Also, well, because I'm definitely losing the girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the I don't answer. I want my friend to be the one to do it. Yeah, but what if it's like some random psycho off the street? Perfect. Take her. Oh, yeah, you're done at that point. Yeah. That makes Go sense. Go ahead. You too. Yeah. Get out of here. But you don't know. I just don't want it to be Drizzy Drake. Oh, man, that would suck. Or Eminem would, would be suck. tough. Eminem would be after, tough. Especially after his last album. I beg, bro. Oh, no way. I don't even think we talked about it. His yeah, last dude. album is fucking garbage, dude. Tough, dude. I listened to like three songs. So sad. Yeah. It was really sad. Oh, sad. I don't. I won't be. I will never be as good as I was. Yeah, like, and then the one song is like, "How am I such a good father, but then I'm also a really bad husband? Uh, How is that possible?" <laughs> it's just like, dude, the one song stinks. they kill me is this one song about like, I should have wrapped it up, but I didn't. Now I got a kid, and we have to have an abortion. Damn! <laughs> it's like the radio hit. It's just like. It's, Dude, you're a fucking millionaire. Have a fucking illegitimate kid. It's not yeah. a big deal. That was a song I was listening to. I'm like, dude, this is fucking dental hygienist stuff to send me. Like, I should have wrapped it up. Damn. It, it, like, his, his one about uh, police brutality is, is yeah. crazy offensive. Yeah. You were offended. I was, I was triggered. What did no, he say? I was just laughing. I was like, yeah, what a yeah. fucking idiot, dude. I read, all, a, I read an Instagram recently crazy. that was about, uh, it was funny. It was, it was a comedian being like, the booker was like, Sorry, like apologize. Like the the crowd, it, the turnout was just white guys. Like sorry about that. And I was yeah. like laughing. I'm like that's so fucking funny, dude. What that you can just be like sorry, it's only white guys here tonight. And it's like totally like oh no problem, so we do. What do you mean? The, like the Booker reached out to this comic and being like, hey, it was a girl. So she's like, hey, sorry, it, the crowd's only white guys. You know, hopefully you still want to. It was like the crowd's a bunch of white guys in a basement. Yeah. Hopefully you still want to perform or whatever. Sure. It's just like, it's so funny to like, you can't put that to anything else. Like, dude, sorry. It's just a bunch of Puerto Rican dudes. Like, my bad about the turnout. <laughs> oh, you're saying that the booker was apologizing. That the turnout was just white dudes. it was dudes. just yeah. white guys. Yeah. I thought you meant he was saying, sorry, you can't perform. It's white guys only. No, no, no. He was Which saying. Which would also be. Yeah, bad. But the, the guy yeah. was basically, I mean, it's, it makes sense too. It's like, it's a girl comic coming and it's a basement full of dudes. It's like totally you can apologize for that. Be like, sorry, the turnout's just all white guys. You have to do comedy yeah. for them, and it's just like, all right, that's weird. Sure. I learned also that you can't screenshot Instagrams. What? When you screenshot Instagram, it get, people get a notification. What? Bro, I've been doing this all the time. <laughs> what? I whenever I want to roast someone, I screenshot their no. Insta. And, dude, a little thing, a thing comes. My little brother told me a little camera flash comes next to the thing, and it tells you who screenshot your thing. What? <laughs> yeah. No, that's Snapchat. That's I'm, Snapchat. I think it's Instagram, no, dude. No, that's Snapchat. Screenshot someone's Insta right you now. You screenshot mine. Someone. All right, let's test this, actually. This would be a good real-time test. You're lying. I don't think I am, man. It's, I know for a fact Snapchat does it. I don't think so. Because the whole point of Snapchat was to do that. Dude, if that's the case, I've, I have... I've burned bridges, dude, because I, like, I used to screenshot... I've screenshotting these same fucking people over <laughs> and over again. I know. Let me see. Let me see if it works for you. Because I, I would love to... Start talking shit on people again through their Instagram. Let me say. I'm telling you, it's Snapchat. I don't know, man. All right, I have this. So you didn't get any sort of thing next to the picture? My little brother might be fucking with me, man. God That's, damn it, yeah. I think he tricked me. All right. You're all right. Okay, good. I think he's tricking me, dude, because I was like shitting my pants about that. That's worrisome. I'm worried about it right now. It's a sick thing to tell people, though. I think I, I think I remember him telling me he did this to someone else too. Now that I think about it, Snapchat. Okay, he tricked S- me. Snapchat gets you. He tricked me. The whole point of Snapchat was to send nudes that delete. Yeah. yeah. So then, when people would screenshot your it nude, lets you know. it lets you know. But yeah, my fucking brother tricked me, dude. Which one, Billy? Yeah, he fucking Billy's a thief, dude. I was fucking He's freaking out. I was night. on Instagram. I was like, damn it, I, I screenshotted so many, and they're gonna definitely people who would be like. How the fuck did he just screenshot this picture? Sure. Like me and my girlfriend. <laughs> I did that to Voss this weekend. It was so funny. Voss, Voss was showing me this chick on Instagram. Yeah. And he's Voss is 60. Jesus Christ. Voss is fucking way older than he looks. And he was showing me this. He was like, look at Eric. She's hot, huh? She's pretty hot. I was like, yeah, dude. Pre- double tap that picture. 
And he was like, what's that do? <laughs> he still <laughs> liked, he liked this female comics picture. <laughs> and he was like, what, what did I do? I was like, you liked it. And he was like, how do I get rid of that? I was like, don't unlike it now. She's gonna know. If you like and unlike, then people know you are you gotta if you accidentally <laughs> Oh man if you accidentally like a hot chick's you gotta r- stick with it and just be like, it was nice to see you. Oh <laughs> like, my I, I God. Seen yeah. Voss, That's so funny. Hit boss with that. And then uh That's such a sick move. Yeah, I was like, just double tap it. <laughs> he just did it right away. He was like, What's that do? <laughs> I was like, she just got a notification that you liked that oh, picture. Oh god. I told you I got my one friend back one time. Oh, what's that? He fucked with my, he like, an ex-girlfriend called me, and he, like, texted back. I, I was, like, passed out. He texted back, I love you. It's like an ex-girlfriend for me. It's like, an, like basically oh, an ex-girlfriend yeah, yeah, commu- yeah. Like, communicating with me. He texted sure. back, I love you. And, you know, it actually opened up a bit of a shitstorm. And uh, so he left his Facebook open one day, and I went on to his, like, cousin, his girl cousin's profile. And just went back to, like, her wedding photos and just, like, <laughs> all the pictures that her husband went in. <laughs> <laughs> And then just never talked about it and tell him about it ever. <laughs> Did she ever confront him? Or it was probably just like what? The I fuck? told I told him like uh, two years later. He was like, "Fuck you, dude. That's so fucking weird." That's really funny. <laughs> you just go to someone's Facebook and, <laughs> and go like to like just any any girl and just like all their like super old bikini photos. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's so weird. Or just comment like nice. <laughs> Or like a picture from 2012. Yeah. Or if you get like a younger girl, go back to her like <laughs> eighth grade photo, nice, like yeah. nice. <laughs> it's the ultimate, dude. You can crush people with it. Yeah, it is. That's hilarious. It's so good. Might have to start trying to do that to people, dude. If I yeah, you got to go to like a copy center. Some people leave their shit open. <laughs> yeah. like, my brother actually, dude. I still don't save my dad's phone number for this reason. My brother was at a party and saw a phone laying down, like pre smartphone. There's like a Nokia brick phone, and he just. It was like dad. It was the last contact, and he called it and got the voicemail. I was like, "Fuck you, dad!" And then hung <laughs> up. <laughs> so I still, to this day, don't save my dad's number in my phone. Really? Because I'm like, someone's gonna get my phone and be like, "Fuck you, dad! You're fucking gay." You it's, gotta save his number. That's a ridiculous I know by heart. I, I'm just, I just never did, and sure. that, every time I go to save it, I'm like, I'm not having someone call my dad and call him gay. Oh man, what are we at time wise? We're like an yeah. hour and seven right, minutes. So let me get into this story before we go. It's Please, just, dude. Because I think there's some gold here for us. This is your fucking holiday. Speaking of foreigners acting unruly. Perfect. Classic <laughs> fucking foreigner here. Uh, so what happened? We we got a little Christmas Eve stunk. Yeah. But then Christmas, we got a little fucking hammered and played Monopoly. Mm-hmm. And my Egyptian brother-in-law went full fucking arab fucking slumlord dude who's playing who's all in this game my girlfriend who's drunk okay my sister who's drunk i'm drunk i guess we're all drunk my sister (laughs) my girlfriend (laughs) yeah we're all fucked up girlfriend sister brother-in-law me it's good yeah that's good that's a good monopoly Monopoly. yeah i i haven't played monopoly since i was a kid read the hat i was the wheelbarrow Dog. No, it was a battleship dude sick all right yeah battleship thought i could guess your monopoly no you thought it would be a hat the hats are fucking good. Wait, go ahead. They have new Monopoly pieces. Really? They have the classics, but they also have uh, a T-Rex. A Saddam Hussein statue? A Saddam Hussein, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, Mina, Mina, the Arab brother-in-law, Yeah. It just dominated. Start to finish, full fucking Arab landlord. Was it, Was he? What did he get? Did he get a bunch of good like, he got, he properties? He got a couple Monopolies in this one corner. Which corner? That, like, no matter what, you were hitting it. Which corner? If the board's in force, is it like towards the boardwalk side of thing? Like red, yellow? No, opposite, opposite of boardwalk. So his was like orange. Right past jail? Yeah. yeah no, that's no, no, no. The next curve, red. Oh, man, that's I a think. tough. It goes like red, yellow, that's and the blue. That's a tough fucking And it's game. the curve that after you go to jail every time, you got to go through that curve again. Yeah, that so sucks. It's the, it's okay, got you, just, got you. And he had bought everything on there. So like if you landed on it, it just banged That whole side it. of the board where you're fucked. But he was, dude... I don't want to be too critical of him because I do love him. Yeah, but man, losing to a fucking dork in a when I get like, dude, I was super competitive, <laughs> and he was such an arrogant dork. About what properties you have? Was, what'd you I have? I didn't have shit, dude. I got the railroads. I, I controlled the railroads. I that's, thought that was a great. No, nope, that's the biggest trap, man. <laughs> uh, you get someone with the railroads and you use that to barter yeah. and you take their property. Yeah, that's a classic move. But in there. I, I, you know, I didn't know how to play. I do know how to cheat. So he erected motels. He erected motels instantly. Yeah, he went full fucking. 
So he instinctively immigrant. chucked some motels up he, there. <laughs> his immigrant instincts took over, and he, went, <laughs> he was building hotels and gas stations, and was like, "You pay now. You come here, you pay." He was like, "Dude, I'm not fucking paying." He was like, "You pay now." He double charged your credit card yeah. every time. He had a fan. He was just sitting there, fucking. You pay me now for this. You land on my space. You pay here. I was like, "I'm not fucking paying you." So he and he definitely it just got heated. But the the funniest thing was. So it was getting heated enough that I was swearing a lot. Yeah. And my mom was at the table also. And she was like, oh, no. Yeah, she Stop swearing. And I was like, shut the fuck up. I was fucking going nuts. Yeah. But my dad was in the living room. <laughs> and my dad had a lot of money on the game, on the Eagles game. Oh. And uh, he lost. Didn't cover. The Eagles didn't hit the over. Oh. So they, they went under, it was like 46, mm-hmm. and it was clear from the start that it was, it was like 7-7 seven, seven and a half, and it was just like, my dad was fucked up. He got hammered, and he was in a horrible mood. So at halftime, he just gets up and starts trying to play music on the Alexa. <laughs> and, and like, just to take off the stage. Yeah, he was just trying to relax, and every song he would pick, I would just blast, <laughs> D- I would, I would blast DMX as loud as I could, because I control the Spotify from my phone. So I could be like, Alexa, play The Temptations. <laughs> Just, see, this is the fucking shit I've been talking about. And he'd be, he was like, turn that off. Turn it off, Shane, you fucking asshole. It's not on Christmas. It's Christmas. Turn it off. No DMX on Christmas. No DMX too. on Christmas. And then I found a DMX Christmas song. <laughs> but he was genuinely, like, he was trying to fight me. He was like, my mom was getting in between it. Yeah. He was genuinely like... You fucking asshole! Meanwhile, the fuck off. your brother-in-law's empire is just growing, dude. Empire <laughs> is massive. My sister, he bankrupted my sister. She's oh out. my god! I mean, it was just like it was chaos. And then my dad goes back inside to watch the game. And what's really funny it was a nine-point spread, mm-hmm. nine and a half, and he had the Eagles, and they were up three. As time expired, they scored a touch. They oh. defense scored to make it nine points. So at this point, they it was nine and a half, so it was nine points, and it was like, oh, shit. And I was like, I think they have to kick the extra point. I think they're required to kick the extra yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm pretty sure things got a little hazy, because then uh, I think they don't, they like respectfully knelt or something. Oh, are you serious? I think. Hold on. I got to, I forget. Not to cover the spread? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because don't you got to win by, if it's, if you tie, it goes to the bookie. Uh Tie well, you, you can't tie because it, it was a half. It was nine and a half points. Got you, got you, got you. But I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was nine and a half, and they scored a touchdown ah. as time expired, and then didn't kick the extra point Dude, to make that it ten. Sucks. So he was like, "Yes, go, go, go!" And they didn't kick it. <laughs> the last play of the game, and then they were like, "Ah, eh, fuck it, nine points." And he was like, "Come on!" Oh, <laughs> he was so mad. But he just happened to be running into me, who I was just as angry. Yeah. I was sitting there losing to Mina in fucking Monopoly. So you guys were like two cats. And you know like, well, two cats mm-hmm. see a stray cat and they hold their anger inside? It was full on fucking like... You guys were charged, dude. We got in a fight on Christmas. Me and my dad you were got trying to, You were trying to keep Monopoly great again, dude. Your I dad was, lost a bet. Dude. My dad lost some money. I, got in a, I lost to a fucking Arab in a property <laughs> game. My blood was just like... You were out of work, dude. I needed to control the property. You were out of work. Yeah. You lost your job. Dude, dude I've never like... He wasn't. My brother in law was such a dick about it. Like, it was of just course. a nerd. It was a yeah, nerd. So he'd you. be like, You owe me uh, 150, please. Oh. And it would just be like, Dude, at least talk shit. <laughs> like, don't be like, uh, It says here. Ooh, look at that. I have a hotel. You owe me $1,100. I don't was, think you have that, do you? Oh, if he was and talking I, shit, you'd be even more mad. I wish he was talking shit. That's true. You could start laughing and talking yeah. shit. Then there's an invitation to talk shit back. But he was just. Cold and calculated. And it was in front of my mom. My mom was sitting at the table. She laughing at clapping her hands, having a good time. She was fucking having fun. Everyone was having fun watching me get angry. <sighs> Losing at Monopoly like a and bitch. Your dad came in, dude. And my old man came in, wanted to hear some music. <laughs> he wanted to hear the Remember the Titans soundtrack. And I was like, dude, <laughs> hell this, is hot. Was this after the betting loss? <laughs> yeah. That's a good thing to listen to after you take a hard one on a <laughs> fucking on a double. No, after uh, the loss. By the end of the game, he was my dad was fucking hammered. <sighs> and then he just went to bed. That's a different. That's an interesting element to drink. Like gambling and drinking must be like you wake up and then you just remember the loss and you're like, "Fuck, 
fuck. Yeah, that yeah. must like turbocharge a hangover. Yeah, he <laughs> so, was. Yeah. It sucks. I felt, I felt bad that he. That's lost. a hangover cure, though. If you w- wake sure. up to winning if some money, you're probably with... like zippity doo yeah. I, I helped. God. Him. I, I helped him place that bet too. Did you? I was like, I think the Eagles are going to score a lot tonight, and they're going to cover. With that second string, not a lot of points, and they oh, he didn't came in cover. To kick your fucking ass. He was furious, and then I was. He all he heard me was like, just drunk swearing in the kitchen, yeah. and he was like, "You pussy, you fucking punk, turn <laughs> off that, turn that rap off, get that off." <laughs> and I was fucking with him, so I was playing it as loud as I could. Yeah, it was an ugly oh, Christmas. That's so it was fucking funny. funny. That's hilarious, it's dude. Funny. That is so fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, and this is impressive. Yeah. This is my bitch is not going to be happy. Yeah, I shouldn't even bring this up. Yeah, I thought better of it. You don't want to? Uh, it's fine. You don't have to. I don't. I don't think it's that bad. What's it rhyme with? Nothing. It's oh. just. Uh, this is just a power move. She okay. had been acting shitty. She's grinching you. She grinched me yeah. on Christmas. Yeah. And then she had a couple of drinks. Everything was good. We were happy mm-hmm. at my parents' house. And we get back to her house. She thinks things are hunky dory. I said, "Oh, you reminded her of her transgressions." I hit her the old nah. Ooh. She was like, "We should," you know. She tried to. She tried to get some. Hit her with some Christmas girl. dong. You hit her with some girl magic. And I said, "Not tonight, baby." Really? Yeah. Wow. How impressive is that? That's highly impressive. Mm-hmm. Well, I drank enough wine. I was kind of confident my dick might not work. That's a good. I was just gonna say. <laughs> The only thing that could stop me if I'm drunk yeah. and I know my dick's not gonna work, I'm like, not tonight. Leave yep. me alone. That's, that's exactly what I that's did. That's fair. My dick, my dick was on the fence. Powerful I think it message. Worked. That's a powerful message. But I was like, you. What do you think? We're fine now. You were acting. Yeah. I still gotta apologize. And she was like, what? Come on, wow. come on. And I was like, nah, FIFA, you go to bed. Wow. Damn, that's tough. Yeah. That's cold, that's a dude. Christmas. She wow. Got, she got. A, she got some coal. That's a Christmas miracle, dude. That's coal for her. She opened up the stocking, dude. There was just yeah. a lump of coal. There's a fucking coal. squishy lump of coal. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. I tried that when I was married. I'd be like, I just won't bring up sex and we'll see what happens. Fuck her. And like I waited like five days and was like, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> yeah, dude, Fuck you. If you don't ask for sex, at, the, like, at this point in my relationship, it's pretty much like... Oliver Twist status, It's kind of just like, hey, you want to have sex? Sex time. It's yeah. like, come on. We're, sex, please. We're scheduled yeah. for our sex. It's, uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. Yeah, that's a hard thing not to fall into. It really sucks. Yeah. Now, we've, we've, the, the one thing that helps us is it's a long distance relationship. Yeah. So, like, it's, it, I don't have to ask, really. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's like, hey, I'm home. Yeah. I haven't seen you in fucking four days. Sex. Game time. Yep. Boom. I'm bringing the average dick. Exactly. Hard. Dude, that's, what else can you bring? Straight down the turnpike. Ooh. I drive down the PA turnpike to deliver fucking. You're, so you're going to roll home. Dawn. You're going to roll home. When are you going home again? I don't know. It, well, that gives us Give a good it, out. Save her up seven days, bro. I got some good shows. It's coming up. No, I'm going to see her on New Year's. So Save it up, dude. I got the 28th of December, Victoria Freehouse in Philly. Oh, that'd the, be fun. The 29th, Friday, I'll be in Morristown Theater in Ooh, New Jersey with nice. the. Rich Voss. The 30th, I'll be in Hershey, PA. December 30th. I think I got some people coming to that, so that'll be fun. That'll be tight. December 30th, Hershey, PA. Go to that. That's then, all coming right up. Yeah. New Year's Eve, I'll be in Baltimore. Okay. At McGooby's. So you're, you're no-fap. You're going to have like seven days inside I could you. no-fap pretty you're, hard. Dude, you should no-fap. I'm going to fap tonight probably. Don't fap, dude. No-fap. Let Wait till don't New Year's. Make me, uh, that's all it takes, too, is somebody being like, don't do it. I, mean, I hey. just need some guilt, any level of guilt. You like and that I won't kind of stuff? Do, no, I won't do it. Oh, really? Oh, I like, say, then I'll keep be you. like, now I'm, now I have to, like, <laughs> someone's like, I bet you can't. I mean, you know I'm, I mean? I'm not, I think you could, but it's, uh, I don't like to attach anything to jerking off. You shouldn't attach it. I'm saying like save it up. Off, you, should say, it. You, should, you should give your babe a good seven day. My babe does not deserve a seven day. You should not. give her a good tube of toothpaste. Deserves, dude. <laughs> no, dude. She deserves a fucking hairspray, fucking stuff. That's what she gets. <laughs> it's a she little gets dribble. A fucking mist. Say <laughs> you don't deserve a Something fucking to cool off. Yeah, she needs. I need to cool off my bitch, dude. <laughs> Just a good with a good dust nut. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the worst. 
Oh my god. Just a weak ass nut. <laughs> oh my god. Don't let me get me started, dude. Weak nuts. That'll I know. Ruin. I know you. I know. That's like you base a lot of your when self-worth I on when I watch nut. people come into work on Monday like the fucking Eagles lost, and I'm like, what's this guy's problem? If I have a weak nut, I'm like, what the fuck. God, that's that'll your ruin my. Loser. Yeah, I'll walk in and be like, God, fucking damn it. Dude. Yeah, that sucks. Especially, I'll tell you what really sucks is if I don't see my bitch for a few days. Yeah. You you, you want to perform well when you do yeah. it after you haven't seen him for a few yeah. days. Yeah. Dropping a weak nut after you haven't seen someone for like a and week. If you don't think they're paying attention, dude, guess again. <laughs> they're watching that, dude. They're every fucking every milliliter they're they're accounting for. And I don't think. At, I think that's your theory, dude. They're on every. Dude, I'm telling you. Think you think you think your bitch is counting? counting dude, if I'm not fucking, if I don't, if I don't come that hard, she's gonna be like, "Well, were you all right? It wasn't like you know, it really wasn't that much." She, oh, she'll tell me. Ooh, I'll definitely, dude. That's terrible. No, it's it's that's they that's how they know if you're cheating on them, dude. No. If you're not fucking splattering them, they're like, this guy's up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> they know. Yeah. If you December don't have any- 31st. Like, <laughs> McGoobies. January 5th and 6th. Mohegan Sun and yep. the Poconos. You're going to have so much coming you by then? Uh, yeah, there's going to be... That's, that's, I'll tell you what. You want to see a good fucking whack-off session. <laughs> you get me up in the you Poconos. You save it for the Mohegan Sun. <laughs> the Mohegan Sun took a fucking pounding last time I was there. I just got... It, it's dude, like, I walk into it's these... It's like one of those hotel rooms from the horror movies where like, really what's is. up with room 243? <laughs> yeah, dude, we had a middle act stay there last year. <laughs> <laughs> fucking come through the roof. <laughs> there's just a kid, like there's a little girl and her arm just like comes out with this stringy thing. Her mom's like, no! <laughs> the 12th and 13th the 12th I'll be in at the Philly Improv Theater ooh nice and then the 13th in Lancaster 18th 19th 20th Helium Comedy Club of For January who? Sam Morell that'll be tight who just recorded a special which I, nice Sam Morell is phenomenal he's good I've so those are my time. shows come to those shows hell yeah and then uh, but those hotel rooms like this if it, dude I should have never thrown out that flashlight yeah. These hotel rooms, dude. It's just pure anarchy. Bring some Vaz. I walk in there and just... You should bring some Vaz, dude. You get a good Vaz instantly, jerk. Instantly, dude. I'm naked. Instantly. Cop another one. Just laying in that bed naked. Cop up. Whoo. Cop a flesh butthole. Watching, especially during bowl season, this is a nice time to be naked. Yeah. Just toss on some college football. Ass T- naked. Tell Voss, you, you, you want to review your contract to where like, he's paying for one softcore porn. <laughs> I mean, technically he is. He tosses me money. Does he? Yeah. Yeah, well, chuck up a good fucking title on the screen, dude. Ball out. No, I can't do that. I wouldn't do that. That's so expensive. Then you yeah. got to face some music at the fucking front desk. Yeah, true. <laughs> I had to face the music kind of hard the other day. What happened? Just when they take that 50 bucks out of your card when you check in. Oh, the, yeah. I was just oh, like, oh, yeah. The, the, oh, shit. Yeah. I better have 50 bucks. Shit. I did, thank God. Praise to Allah. Yeah, thank Insult God. Allah. Thank Allah. fucking, Allah. thank Allah on that one. Fuck my brother in law for that game of Monopoly. Dude. <laughs> that was last night. I'm hurt. Hey, man. All right. You we came sh- back. We should get We're the fuck done. Out of here, right? Oh, dude, I finished my uh, finished my final draft. Oh, yeah, you sent it to me. I sent it to you, bro. I didn't even, didn't even fucking open that sent email. It to you. Don't worry about it. That's fucked up with me. Sorry. That's fine, bro. I don't care. I had all the time in the world this weekend. Dude. I was just laying in there naked. Totally fine. I watched a game of soccer. I was doing nothing. Just getting edited right now. I've been pitching agents, dude. Really? Yeah. Nice. I don't think it'll get picked up, so I'll probably sell it on Amazon, so I'll be ready for that. Yeah. It's coming, dude. That'll be nice. Get into my wild world, dude. dude. Wait till the fucking yeah. listeners get a hold of your book. 400 pages, dude. Dude, if it's a piece of shit, that'll 114, be so it'll be hilarious. Yeah. 114,000 words, dude. I started, oh, I did start to read it. You I think I was a little beginning. fucked up. A lot of big yeah. words. Oh, yeah, bro. You're like into writing. Yeah, I like to write. It's about the writing. It's, it's, liter- like, it's literary fiction, dude. It's like reading uh, Great Gatsby. Yeah, it's, it's more about the it's incredible about the writing. writing. Exactly. My prose. Versus the actual story. It's my prose. Well, sure. the story's in there, too. I haven't gotten to the story yet. <sighs> the prose is I was is just fucking... reading the, just the first page. I was prose like, what is the tight. fuck is he doing? <laughs> <Did> you... <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I read it. I read the first page as you, and I was just laughing at like, all this kind of stuff. Well, all right. Like, this is... Is, I'm going to give you some literary criticism. Yeah, go ahead. I usually read like Bukowski and Hemingway, uh-huh. which is so fucking alpha and sick. Simple men. They're so simple. sick. But it yeah. is like the most simple sentences yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. And then I started to read yours and I was like, what? It's flowery. You got some, you got some language, boy. It's flowery. But, you got some great language. But the, uh, 
my that was my big that's my big uh, thorn in my paw in What's my writer's that? paw. I'm like, next one I'm dialing down, making it a lot really? more simple. That's just that's freshman stuff. You want to show off, dude? You be like check out these words. Those are sick words. A couple sick ones. Let dude. me hear some words that you used. I I, uh, I had to research the difference between iridescent and incandescent. A lot of people don't know the difference. Incandescent and iridescent. Uh huh. Give me it in a sentence. I will give it away. Iridescent is light from uh, incandescent mm-hmm. is light from heat. Light from heat. So when, you, when a stove turns orange, it's incandescent. When something shimmers off a crystal, it's iridescent. Okay. So stuff like that. Yeah. So. I do a vocab every day. When nice. I read, I screenshot words and I look them up and I do flashcards. That's what a Kindle's for. Exactly. That's so, nice. Yeah. When I have paper books, I screenshot. I have a oh, stack wow. of vocab cards. There you go. Vocab's sick right now. Vocab is. Re- I was reading that first. I couldn't get through the first paragraph. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dude. <laughs> but no, it is. It's sick. I'm happy. I'm finally happy. It's the point now. Literally, everyone could read it. And be like this thing sucks. You wrote a book, dude. I'd be happy with That's it. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm stoked. How many words? I thought it was like 114,000 100, words. 100,000 words. 114, yeah. Whew. Whew. Baby. Whew. Get ready for it, dude. Matt McCuss. You better buy it, dude. Do you think it's weird listening to him talk about coming on a computer? Yeah. Wait till you read 114,000 words. Wait till you read my thoughts for the last two years, dude. From the mind that brought you <laughs> from coming on his own computer screen comes a novel. <laughs> Be ready. No, it'll be good. God bless you. God bless you, dude. Pray to Allah. Evening. This is our last podcast for the year. Oh fuck! Yeah, Happy New Year's. Yeah, too. how about that? Wow. Next time we see each other, it'll be 2018. 2018. The future. Man, I shit the bed in 17. <laughs> what a fucking dog shit year. <laughs> Holy fuck. New Year's, the New Year's episode is going to be lit, dude. I need to fucking write this shit. <laughs> this thing is fucking dog shit. <laughs> what are you doing on New Year's? Nothing. Chilling. You and your bitch should come down to McGooby's. That's I got a hotel room, that's dude. That's not a bad idea. Let's talk to my bitch. There's a hotel room down there. We could do a live cast on New Year's. That would be fucking the ball lit. Drops, that would be dude. lit. I do have my puppers, though. Your bitch is salty, too, against me. No, nah, she, she's not gonna she like forgave you. Your bitch won't like me. She forgave you, dude. She's not going to like you after you said she was fat. She doesn't listen to this shit. You better hope. I didn't say she she's fat. I didn't say this. she's fat. She gained weight and my looks healthy. Is, my bitch might be salty after this yeah, episode. That was a tough one. That was an expose. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta expose your bitch on a podcast after you're too afraid to say it to her face. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta wait. No, my babe just looks healthy now, dude. She's thick. My bitch knew this was coming. She, I mean, we fought. She thought so. Today. She's just worried about getting scathed she on the like, podcast. You, she's like, "You're not gonna say this on the podcast." Oh. I was like, "No, I'm not gonna say anything." Damn. Boom. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't expose her on this. I just yeah. said she was salty. No, you didn't at all. I didn't explain. You guys have a stable working relationship, yeah, we're good. dude. She's, she's I, I'm on the bitch. Titanic, bro. I'm fucking. fucking I'm on a pirate ship in the sea. We we're passionate. You're on a fucking water slide. Yeah, ours you know, is like, ours is fucking ours is fucking. Turn you hit. You're like, oh fuck. Oh, I might oh. be in a fight right now. I don't even know, dude. So I'm gonna go home to that. I'm not in a fight because I got a picture of a dog. That's what's up. But I actually just got a picture of a dog too. My bae must be happy. Bitches, you that's, got a good bitch. That's she's the white you dove. Over. Yeah, yeah. Just a picture of the dog you share. That's all you can hope for, dude. Well, my dog had a good Christmas. What did your dog get? He was just, he behaved himself, brought him to my parents. He hung out with Riggins and what? Zeus. What? He's a good boy. He hung out with the big dogs. He was nuts. Nice. It was fun. That is fucking fun. It's adorable. He was excited. <laughs> anyway, what a, what a Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. God, 2018, dude. Fuck 27. I hate when people like do that. Like, I didn't uh-huh. think it, was, it wasn't the year's fault. Yeah, yeah. It was all me. <laughs> yeah. I fucking stunk. You're just talking year. about the parameters of it. Yeah. yeah. The 365. That days. is funny to blame a year. Yeah. Like, how people were like, fuck this year. 2017 for me was a real shit performance. Can I think I'm, I'm going to bring it back in 18. Yeah. I, uh, I it's just, a big I, year for I us. pulled up a little bit at the end of it, but I, I had a pretty fucking stinky 2017. Yeah. I wasn't on my A game at all, dude. I was fucking even... smoking joints, eating weed gummies pretty yeah. much for the most of it. I wonder what Doing it, nothing. <laughs> is this what just happened? Is this how you become? That's one thing I've been thinking. Mm-hmm. It's like, is this just how you become a loser? Uh, I I've, think it is. I, you can, it, it, the slope to loserdom is a fast one, dude. Yeah. I think and it's it just takes, like, it, you as you get older, don't it, do it takes like almost just like serious strength not to sink down into the depths of despair. I was a fucking pure loser this year. If I didn't, dude, if I didn't have stand up, I mean, I'd probably be better, but yeah, that was the only true. redeeming thing I did all year. Yeah. Was just do stand-up. That's true. It's funny. I'll it watch stand-up that I did and be like, man, that sucked. To it's watch like, it? Well, sometimes I have bad sets. 
Yeah, well, that definitely it's like, goes, man, yeah. the only thing I do, I'm a fucking loser otherwise, and then just to have a bad set. That's, on top what, that's of that. what sucks about yeah. putting your chips in one basket, dude. Because mm-hmm. when you don't do good at that, it opens up the ca- they opens up the doors, dude, and all the hounds come in. I'm, I'm looking forward to 18. Though. <laughs> I am too. I, I think, think it's a big turnaround for me. I think it is too. Watch, I just die. I'm still. <laughs> you just <laughs> Ralphie May. <laughs> you just Ralphie May out. That'd be sick if I made out. That'd be tight. You gotta get fatter. I gotta get skinny. Yeah, it's er, I got lose. I'll lose some weight this year. You're gonna get jacked. I can get jacked. Or either get jacked or hit like 400. You could just go 400. And be like, hey y'all, ha, <laughs> Ralphie May. If if you hit, if you're a white guy that hits 400, you can just be a black lady. That's On what stage. Ralphie May did. You absolutely. He like, did. Let he me did. tell y'all something about this. He did actually. You're yeah, absolutely he right. was just a black lady. How, how, what what fucking? I mean, I could trans to a black lady by <laughs> eating. I could just get fatter and become a black lady. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be a sassy lady. Dude, that's your 2018. <laughs> no, if I go to 2018, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop some lbs. I yep. said I was gonna quit dip. Okay, you ain't quitting dip anymore. It, well, it's tough to do both. Like gotcha. if I if I'm gonna lose weight, it helps me to have dip. No, it helps with I've losing done weight. What's that? No fab, dude. No fab helps you lose yeah. weight. Yeah, it makes you have all, so much more energy because you have all your cum inside you. Just give it a good seven days, see how you feel. You don't have to do it. I don't know, man. I feel like if I've listened to your theories in the past, I'd be in worse shape. I let you down some dark roads in my <laughs> theories. No doubt. Bad theories. <laughs> <laughs> no faps. You can read about that. All right. We got to fuck Yeah. We're out of here. See you. Praise the Lord. I was born to drive boat. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit, I smoke is like a